recording? Yep. Recording. Let's go live. Ooh. Live. Live. Ready? Like, yep. you, you've seen that, you ever seen that video, what was his name, the guy from Fox News? Like, He's, fucking, I'll live. write it and we'll do it live. We'll do he it live. does that every oh, boy, time. Yeah. Boy, At least boy, probably, boy. what, like once every other month or so? Who the fuck is this? Who the fucking spot monger? Fucking him. Hey, Greg, did the Vikings <laughs> overpay fucking uh, cousins? Go on live. No, better question Five, is... Five, five, four, three, two, live. We are live. Better question... What's up, life. everybody? Did the Cardinals overpay fucking Sam Bradford? Yes. Sports! <laughs> what you talking about? What's up, everybody? Just uh, letting everybody get settled in. Sorry we're late tonight. We're actually late like a whole day and two in about an hour. At least we showed up. That's true. Yeah, we showed up. That's you're, welcome, you're welcome, America. You're welcome. That's the important thing. Uh, we're already several shots in. Oh, God damn it. Oh, yeah. I fucked up a lot. And Tommy Two Steps is actually in the house tonight, people. Geek Woman retweeted. Thank you very much. Yes, please retweet all masses, Facebook, Twitter, Tomato, Tomato. I'm Gregory. You're sitting right in front of me. Thank you for retweeting. I mean, I'm here. I might as well like, you know, say <laughs> what I'm doing. This is also true. Yeah, I can jump on Periscope. You can yeah, jump on yeah. Periscope. Everybody can jump on Periscope. Please, it's peace based. You got to get one of them uh, cases with the stands. Oh no, I have. I left that at home. I was, uh, drink, I was drinking all day. It happens. Relic Lord retweeted. You go the man. Tommy Two Steps. You're sitting right next to me. Abe Salute just retweeted. Oh, shit. Awesome. Hey, Kate. Hey, girl. It is not Jameson, Kate. I'll tell you what it is once we start the actual show. I mean, she can zoom in. But it's Irish. Is it gone? Uh, it's almost gone. It's almost gone. Right? We finished this entire bottle in a night. Before the... It, in an hour. Started. In an hour. But I mean, Tommy, I see you. In defense, we were pouring five shots at a time. Yeah. So, Infinity War hype. Oh, yeah, it's on the list. Thor, what's good, baby? Yes. Don't worry, we're going to make a fresh one real quick. Oh, yeah. we're, oh we're going to talk about yeah, that shit. We're going to get straight because the show's about to start. Relander, what's going on? <laughs> what's going on? But we're going to talk about that shit. Oh, my God. So hype. Oh, my God. That's that's the opening of the show. Oh, my God. Like, can I skeet now? So I just wait wait till later. Wait till later. I think they should, they should see that. Okay. Yo, yeah. Steve Cerrone. Hey. Miss you already, buddy. Nice. He just went on? At least we know he got home okay. On Facebook. He, uh-huh. might, be, he might be under a bridge somewhere. You know? He could be under a bridge. It's like, must watch he's the basement my, show. He's waiting for my car to get fixed. <laughs> oh, yeah. This, Kate, this is going to be a long night. This is going to be a long night. Uh, Shout out to the alibi for making me this way. Big Aza 2151. Rest in peace, Tony Stark. I think you got... I, I don't know about that. We're going to talk about that. Yeah. So, so, I think it's going to be the other way. Mom, just get it rolling? Yeah, fuck it. Just do it. Do it. All right. That sucked. Nah. That was better. That was good. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the basement. It's me and Greg. We're already about five shots in. We got a nice teeling Irish single malt whiskey in honor of St. Patrick's Day tomorrow. And we got a great show for you tonight. In case you were on the rock this morning, the Infinity War trailer dropped and tickets went on sale. So we're going to talk about that. Plus, we got some great comics like Aftershock's Betrothed, Alterna Comics' Sonatus. From Black Mask, we got Come Into Me, DC's Eternity Girl, Images Dry County, and Infidel. Marvel gives us New Mutants Dead Soul, and we got Titan Comics' Sea of Thieves. Go grab your whiskey. It's going to be one of those shows, folks. Happy St. Paddy's Day. We'll see you after the credits. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, you need me to open your beer. I'll do that. I can open one now. No, no go ahead. Open whatever you Let's want. Let's take this fucking shit epic. Cheers. 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 Yes. yes. Yeah, I knew you were an IPA like me, Roger. Oh, man. I love it. Oh, we got to do one stop. The tanker or the better? Oh, oh, we're doing the summer. Bring oh, my the God. The new ball right now, they have, 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 the have 16 bars on yes. tap. What's that? Yeah. The new ball I'm at right now, they have 16 bars on tap. Oh, my God. The options. The options. God. If you could spell the God, place by us has uh, a nice selection of beers, and they rotate it seasonally, so it's that's good. That's good. Like, like you spell God with three letters. Well, I went to the other place that had just six beers, God. and I you know okay. the one cake. The only two that I would say there was like you no know, other half and freaking like you know and a and a uh, uh, dorm on the poster, and then they're like oh, other four we oh, rotate. Like no, like Definitely we got to attend like a whiskey like tasting because that's that non Roger voice sounds familiar. Oh. Listen to me, guys. What are you doing Sunday? I'm just going to do this right now. Um, I'm trying to clean, actually, because I'm not going to have time to do it. Tom and recovering from Saturday. Okay. Come on, we love Tom. 
I love Tom, you know, like a brother, but he does not shut up, and he's in the audience today. Yes. So just be prepared. Be prepared. For voices constantly. Because... <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna do my job when they—they're really filming. I'm gonna shut He's the fuck up. He's a smart guy. We I mean, love him. No, you're not. And, uh, and, and we, That's, but maybe you are. I have no input it's 3:15 in the UK right now. This is dedication. Working class comics. Oh, we love you, brother. Yes. You're awesome. What's going on, baby? Yes. PM or a. Pete, how good has yeah. X Men Red been? What not, you were talking about? I'm talking about Astonishing. No, I'm talking about no, 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 that and and, and and Red. All right. Both Red and Astonishing is really good. I'm shocked. That I have no good. clue because I don't and read X Men. No, 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 I jumped the shark. I like I left it alone. It's like you know how I feel about the X Men. I know. But this act, these two arcs maybe come back. But we'll save that for the show. Yep. Save that for the show. Sorry, I didn't upload the Star Wars prize picture yet. That's all right, brother. I'm just glad that you found it in the box and didn't, like, toss the box out. Ooh, oh, good, I got glasses. Me. Toss the box. Like, uh-oh, there was something else in there. Shout out to Relic Lord talking about the Camelot Mead. Well played. No worries. I'm just glad that you got the uh, the glasses, eh? Okay, so, all right, let, let's start this off. So, guys, uh, sorry we're late today. For those of you watching on Periscope, myself and my boy Tommy Two-Step, who's in the audience right now. Come over here, Tom. Just show up yeah, the shirt. Hey! Tommy, Tommy. Right, right, right. Hey, sit in, sit in Ramon's seat. Get, get, get there, sit get in the there, Puerto Rican seat for a second. So, we were at the Ronald McDonald house today serving dinner to... You know, kids, sick kids, getting our little heaven credit in. So we got our t-shirts. Vol no, I volunteer. What's your superpower? Uh, so nice, once again, nice. all part of the Basement Gives Back campaign. So uh, right now we got the t-shirts up on represent.com forward slash store forward slash Peach Basement. We got the regular Peach Basement t-shirt and March's Peach Basement supports MS Research. So if you can, go on there. The shirts are 20 bucks each. And for the MS research, all the proceeds go to the National MS Society. And for the Peach Basement t-shirts, all the proceeds go to us. So, <laughs> we appreciate your patronage. And you can ride. It's a really great t-shirt. The logo is a freaking huge. Yes. Which is what I like the best about it. Because, like, the other t-shirt uh, places that we were... Hey, nippies. <laughs> <laughs> the other t-shirt places that we were no using... Fair. Not me, too. Was... Come on. We're the same shirt. All right. Here's a... Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I <can't do> <laughs> I'm so exactly. sorry. I'm so I know, I know right Tommy right 37 right. years. This is the dumb shit we do. 37 years and five shots. 37 years and five shots. A day. So if you can, guys, go on represent doc, on the Peach Basement store. Go on peachbasement.com. and right up a, now, actually. Yeah, up a shot right up there. Now. It says shop. Just I click on that. Take it right to it. For those who want to throw shade on my winter shirt, I was working early. I don't have my size. So I'm a little bit chunky. No, but we have your size. We go up to 5X now. And it doesn't charge you for big guy sizes. Which I think is one of the nicest things. It's like they're punishing you for liking yeah. food. Fuck That's messed up. Fuck fashion shame. Damn right. Or Paul disliking Elijah. exercise. It's one of the two that you don't like. Paul Elijah Candelaria. Hi to Pete DeLuca and Ramon Chamorro. Hi. What's up? We'll pass your message on to Ramon. I, he couldn't uh, make it today. It's Friday. I'm not Ramon. But it's all right. <laughs> Embrace the nipple twist. Embrace it. Yep. It is your life. We are your, we are your life. I'm uncomfortable right now, gentlemen. So do you want to stay you on the show? Get or? comfortable. We we'll can stay, get comfortable. You, no, no, you, you should stay. Uh, you stay just stay for a little bit, please. I'll stay for, stay right. for a little I'll bit. Stay for a little bit. Don't break your iPad. I have no wind in the shirt. Get a little closer. Get a little closer. Pull in. We like you. I like to pull out, though. It's okay. And we especially... <laughs> you got two kids, right? So no, you don't. Yeah, this is true. Hey, yo. We especially like though. our fans. She said yes. Twice. Somehow. For some reason. <laughs> we especially like our fans who sent us all of this awesome stuff on the table that I want to shout out right yes. now. Starting with my boy El Sinestro, who sent me this really dope Ghost Rider figure. I can't wait to get this thing out of the box and up on a shelf and show off to you guys. So I, I actually got a lot of toys to open, so we're going to have some Pete's Basement extras going up with, uh, you know, box opening and toy playing with and stuff like and that. So fucking shit, that's pretty much what we do here. Yep. Yeah. We play with toys. Yeah. Thank you, El Sinestro, one of the best friends that this show has given me. And nice. we've never actually even met in real life, but it'll happen sooner than later. To Jason Hagopian, thank you for the set of He-Man and Skeletor nice. battle armor pop Very figures. Nice. And he sent Ramon and myself a special edition Lobo nice. pop figure, as well as a special edition Tick figure. Thank you, dude. And 
uh, some Reese's Big Peanut Butter Cups that are over there that I hid because uh, Ramon told uh, me if I... I actually I... almost ate them when I walked in, but I felt very bad if I ate them. Ramon said if I didn't save them at least a few, he was going to be pretty mad. I didn't know they were here until you said that, so now <laughs> oh, I yeah, walked, I walked down a few, here before. But I mean, like, save some and I'm, a, I'm a Peanut Butter Cup fan, and those are... Me too. It's the one, th- it's the one thing that's peanut butter based that it won't kill me. Because I'm allergic to nuts. Are you? Yeah. You but really? peanut butter will kill you. Why? Fun fact. Because science. Peanut butter, peanut butter cups and Jeff peanut butter are not real peanut butter. So it's an well, extract. That's, that's interesting. Yeah. Um, extract okay. without the oil. So I can eat it. Expand. I can eat it. That's insane. Join us it's for expand. Peach Basement Science Hour later on in the program, <laughs> where we find out what the ingredients in Jeff and Reese's. I will die. Okay. Like, instantly, I will die. But Reese's is cool. Reese's is cool. So if Peter held the pan, you'd be dead. Yes. And okay. by the way... Thank you, um, Steve. I, well, I believe That's you, a Steve joke. I do not trust any, like, Peach Basement medical sort of advice. No, not no, at all. No, never. <laughs> oh, for, I think they figured that out by now, though. Slimmer, we're not doctors. Yes, we did stay in a holiday in once, but we're not doctors. We're not doctors. But, but at least one, one of us... Put that need right now. Right? At least one of us is a scientist. A we were sure. probably born in one. I don't know. I can't speak for everybody. I mean, I think I was. represent. Brooklyn Hospital, so... Where one of us is a scientist. I don't know. We are all scientists you know in our own brains. Born? No, I don't freaking know. Why yeah, I don't know. Fucking know what really? Why does that matter to me? It does matter. It's a Hobbit hospital. <laughs> it's not, I don't so, know. Infinity War I arrived. No, wait a minute. We're not done yet. <laughs> all right. Wait, and I, I want to thank Absolute. I, I, no, I feel like asking your mom right now will help you born in All right, thing. go ahead. I'm going to thank Absolute. Go ahead. Show me. I'm not getting pissed off by your mom tonight. <laughs> Oh, she she will definitely curse you out. Yeah, sure. but she will give you the answer though. It's past eleven o'clock. I'm not getting cursed about his mom. No, no thanks. Thank you, Absolute, for sending me this awesome Rhino nice. collector's bobblehead from the Marvel Collectors Core, and this really cool Black Panther figure. It looks like like Teenage nice. T'Challa. Look at nice. that. Nice, nice. That and cool. this really cool. Millennium Falcon beer bottle opener that we don't know how to use here. That we don't know how to use here. And and. Which I think needs to go to Trish, and you'll understand why. This really cool Howard the Duck T-shirt. Oh, Howard I think Trish the needs the this, duck. right, Rog? What do you let him lick you like that for? It's gross. What do you let him lick you like that for? <laughs> gross. So, thank you to all of our awesome fans, Great job. Great job. and thank you to our boy David Peralta who posted the picture of the Lee's Art Black Panther glasses that he won. Those arrived like in a day. I don't know how those got there already, but hey, they did. They paid for the shipping. And so that's popping up on screen right now. That's the new thing that we're going to do is whenever you win a cool contest, if you post the picture, we're going to show it off on the show. Which is dope. I think that's a cool idea. I think it's a great idea. Yeah. What did I win? You won the, uh, a spot on the Peach Basement show. I live across the street. Well. <laughs> uh, it's more like I fell down the basement stairs. Working class comics, you probably, have, you, uh, have hey, you ever? Hey. Oh, I fell up the stairs. Not liable. Not liable. Actually, I threw not up liable. over there. Not For what? Liable. It's just way before the basement beast basement show was around. So I've always said that if you if you listen if you if you get hurt here, I'm going to dump you on the neighbor's stoop. That's Brooklyn. That's pretty much. It. We don't recycle. You know why? Because we just put nice. the neighbors. Thank you, Kate. She ordered the Black Panther glasses. She ordered her own glasses. Cool. Thank you, Kate, so much. So you are amazing. I'm saying that for real. You are amazing. So speaking of BP, uh, turns out that today the Infinity War trailer dropped. Just in case you were sleeping. And the Infinity War tickets went on sale. Not even every theater yet. Not even every theater was carrying the show yet because I guess they don't plan that far in advance. Infinity War broke the Black Panther ticket record on Fandango in six hours. Really? Can I walk off the screen just to give a effect? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Very nice. Six hours. And by the way... Like, like, I got my tickets already. I am going God. Thursday night. So that week, folks, April 26th, okay, we'll be doing a Friday show. Okay. As I'll be watching Black Panther. Uh, not Black Panther. I'll be watching Infinity War. I love whiskey. And I might actually go I, have, I, I uh, As you know how I get down. We'll do I know. Uh, I have Thursday, Friday, and Sunday. You, you already bought three sets of tickets? Yes. I'm so proud yes, of you. Yes, yes. I get it in. Fuck that shit. I like it. I, I like get it. it in. I get it in. So, all right. Yeah, what so was? Surprise, babe. Yeah, we're going to see fucking Infinity War. What was? What was your? <laughs> what was your favorite part of the trailer? Because there's a lot of good ones. The ending. 
No, with Doc, with no. Spider-Man and Doctor Strange? No, seeing fucking no. Seeing fucking no. Was that not? Did it entire, not tickle everybody? Seeing the entire, no. everything. Seeing the entire order and like, then like have to leak that like, right after the prayer like, freaking like, you know, Peter Dinklage is, is, is voicing one of the fucking of the order. Is he? Yes. And I already know who he is. Was he, uh, Ebony Moore? Was he, shh. Was he that guy? Uh, I'm like, I'm like 85% sure that's him. That's dope. That's cool. Like, 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 like I, 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 like, I teenage came with myself. <laughs> I found that news out. And like, and, I mean, like, there's three, there's three things that, there's three things that popped out to me, like, automatically. Number one, and like, granted, I'm not the average bear. I apologize to, to the masses. Me seeing Doctor Strange being fucking tortured. Yeah, that was sick. That got me. And I'm he's like, screaming and he's like, Shh. I'm like, oh shit, this is real, real. Number two, the shot with fucking Cap and Thanos. And like, Roger. That, that's, how you know, that's how you know, that's how you know how Captain, Captain America is. Steve Rogers is fucking like glorious. Like, he is going against a, literally a fucking god. And he's actually holding his own, holding his fist, crying inside to hold the fist and killing himself. That got me. And the third thing was, of course, Tony Stark realized that Star Wars is dead. It's a fucking moron! <laughs> Wait now, because the, the thing with Cap, everybody's talking about this because... We obviously know several Avengers are going to die. Yeah. We, we've already been told. We don't know who, obviously. So, uh, Sally Keston asked on Facebook and DJ A1 asked on Twitter, which Avengers do you think will die? And most people have pretty much got Cap hung at this point. And I think they're probably right. But a simple fact that we, we're already probably going to see Bucky and Falcon step up to be Captain America at some point. No, I Bucky I first and then Cap and then Falcon. What? I'm going to do a hot take right now. Go for now. it. I'm going to say, not only does Cap die, I say that fucking, I say that fucking Falcon dies. Think so. Fa- no, I said no. Captain, Cap, Bucky. Bucky's and, alive. And Falcon dies. They got Sebastian Stan on for nine movies. Seba- he's he's no, alive. No, but that doesn't mean they have to come back for fucking Infinity 4. That's true. I think Cap. I think, that's right. I think oh. Cap is gonna save like Black Panther and you know everybody what? else in that fight me, with let Thanos. Me right on, then. Let me right on say this. So it's Cap, Thor, and Falcon dies. I wish I had some input. I th- I think Thor is probably dead. I don't think Tony Stark's gonna die. No. I think he's the one that's gonna live mm-hmm. of the originals. Librarian Cakes and Cap and Tony Stark, and uh, there was a big one before that about the Vision's vision. Yeah. And if you can repeat that, because I didn't catch the whole thing. So. I, I honestly think Vision will probably die, because, I mean, he's got to get the stone ripped out of his head. I think that's a fair that's fair I think game. with technology, he'll be able to live. They could rebuild him in another movie. Yeah. You know, America, I want... I think Cap is going to sacrifice his life to save his his friends and fight Thanos. That's for oh, sure. Wait, hold on, Tom, who said that? Someone just said that he's a scroll. I want to know who you think is a scroll. That, that's been that's a whole. We could have a whole extra on that. I think we should save that for another story. <laughs> truthfully, so we don't like like it's like the Infinity War right now is like that trailer was like so amazing. And so, like, Seriously though, what if dies, Howard the Duck dies? We'll all be very upset. Hawkeye should die. Hawkeye's probably on the chopping block. Truthfully, Hawkeye's in fucking Trader Joe's right now getting some fucking <laughs> grass fed fucking turkey turkey like brown beef. Right, and he's good. Right. Turkey brown beef is very good. For you. It's very good. I mean, yeah. I. Oh my god, I made some freaking like turkey, uh, turkey ground beef for uh, uh, stuff tonight. It was great. I, was thinking, I make turkey ground chili. Yes! It's fantastic. Yes. Why are you guys getting me hungry right now? Because we're, we're, we're all Cause, fat from here. I'm telling you. Because like we're grown and we're lit and we know how to I fuck. lost weight. Hang on now. So well, I'm looking for it. Hawkeye not being anywhere near the trailer is telling me. Yeah, this is the second trailer and he's not in it. I think he's dead. We'll, vision, uh, we'll turn Vision's vibranium vampire to survive. That's interesting. That's an interesting concept. I think Shuri's gonna be like the secret weapon at all. That was shit. vegetable tube. Shuri will turn Vision into a vibranium what up, vampire. Vegetable? Yes, sir. I can't wait to see the. Tom, I'm coming to your house with turkey chili. Nice. I can't I wait to see the interaction. All, so you will have to ask my wife to make more. I'm looking forward to the interaction between Shuri and Tony for sure. 
I, I, every time Tony opens his mouth, sure he's gonna put him in his place. I think like it's gonna turn into one of those like, oh, but I have this. Oh, but what do you, what do you see this? And it's gonna be like tech toys, like going back and forth to geeks. But that's so text text t x t o c a jackalope text co jack jackalope thirteen said. Could Steve Rogers, with Thor's hammer plus one Infinity Stone, and I felt like I was reading like some Dungeons and Dragons shit right there. The it's like plus stuff, one right? to power. Get combination shit. Could he yeah. take on Thanos? I if we don't see if Cap dies and we don't see him lift Thor's hammer in this movie, I'm gonna be real upset. But here's the bottom line. Because Stone Cold said so, and this is still three sixteen. That's right. Yes. I'll take it. <laughs> Bomb this. Like as a fan, as a fan. Yes, I'm made it with right eight now. minutes to spare. <laughs> I, I, this is what I want. I, oh, that was the second. I hand. personally want twenty nine minutes. If would end with that, eight minutes fingers. somewhere. Yes, that would be fucking awesome. That's how I want the movie to end. If it's up to me, that's how I want the movie to end. I want, I want Thanos to snap his fingers and then credits. Do you think yeah, he will play. get all the gems? I think you will. I think they have to. I, I think it would be a cop out if he didn't. I think you will. They won't do that because that, you know, for the people who never saw the the, the comics. Sucks. To well, that's fuck. Sucks, sucks for them. Know. He's got to do it and let it end that way. And actually, like Rory and Kate said, how do we think it should end? That could you know end, close this current Avengers arc. Uh, yeah, that's how it ends. And you know what? Maybe somehow they use the time gem to go back in time to reset everything. And fight but, and fight him somehow afterward, but I guarantee you he's doing that. Like we already we already know that we already know that freaking Chris Evans shaved off the beard to film scenes in Avengers Four. We already know that's going. I to really want to hear him say, "Come and get me," just like out of no the costume. That was issue four, I think, where he's on the cover. Yeah. Like, come on. Edward oh yes, I already bought tickets for the AMC fucking marathon. I'm going. Are to, you? You doing that thirty-one I'm hour to, shit? I'm going to do thirty-one hour <laughs> shit. I'm going to do thirty-one hour shit. That's uh, impressive. Yeah. I can't do that. I poop a lot. I can't do that. I mean, once again, my one shot. They do day, have colostomy bags for that. I mean, I would need like a turtle right in the seat. Like yeah, they, they got, got a colostomy hole bag in it. where you I literally do it. not have. No, to I, get I, I'm figuring that they give everybody like. Why no, not colostomy bags? They, no. no, they give everybody <laughs> three minutes between movies. That would make sense. Uh, if diapers are good enough for astronauts, it's good enough for both. I guess. I uh, guess. Edward, Hi, you said diapers for astronauts. Sure, he, <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> I don't know what that is. That's the technology. It's right, got to be good. So, Ghost Rider toy being sent to Fireside. I'm, I missed what you said completely. Stephen Maurer. Stephen Maurer. So, Ghost Rider toy being sent to Fireside? Maybe. If you're if you're good. <laughs> hey, CJ. Uh, thanks for joining. What's up, buddy? Oh, David, so, David's in the house. What's up, David? Yes, sir. Yes. You mentioned the end of the trailer. when and Everybody's loving yeah, this. When he's like, hey, I'm, uh, I'm Peter. Doctor Strange. Oh, we're using our made-up names, and I'm Spider-Man. <laughs> that's great. And all, all the nerds are sitting there like, no, that's his, that's his real name. That's his name. I'm actually really excited at the fact that, and most people probably didn't realize this, that that's two Steve Ditko creations. So that's probably not an accident that those two are interacting. Even just, I don't, I'm saying, not saying there's like some secret thing involved. I'm just saying, here's two Steve Ditko co-creations that are going to just meet each other on the screen. And I think that's just a salute mm -hmm. to, to Ditko. And I think that's really awesome. Uh, for Lesnar, it's actually, we finished Jessica Jones season two. I ain't even started Jessica Jones. I am, I, I am four episodes uh, from finishing, and I'll let you know right now, respectfully, it was a slow build, but once it started going, I was in. And I love the, I love the character development of all the supporting cast. But I have one beef. All right. And Please explain. If it's a spoiler, it's not a spoiler. Okay. But it's kind of like a. It's not a shame, but it's like a acknowledgement. Rachel Taylor, you're a beautiful woman. You need to eat a sandwich immediately. <laughs> yes. Like he's right. No, no, no. Like I understand. No, working out is great, but no, you're like too thin. And if you ate, we'd see I'm what you concerned. ate. It, it, and I and I and from like I don't want to see the turkey slice. No, for no, from <laughs> no, from what me seeing fucking like you know the ten episodes in the fucking like you know the nine episodes in the fucking Jessica Jones, 
and with like Amy Schumer saying what she said like like this actresses in Hollywood and here doing like you know Hungry Days, which is appalling to me. Why do you have to have Hungry Days? Just fucking eat. I don't know what that means. I'm that, hungry. No, I eat. No, that means that, that my Hungry Days are. Uh, that's how for, often I eat. It's every no, day. No, for my understanding. Every hour. No, for my understanding. I'm hungry there, all there day. There are certain actresses that I you know they will. They will pick a day out of the week to like just go ham and don't eat for the rest of the week. That's, that's ridiculous. Cheat, that's a that's, cheat, well, that, 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 cheat that's day. That's ungodly. Yeah. Like, well, that's dedication to what they listen, believe listen, is listen, supposed to be take dedicated a look at this, to. Let's happy. Beautiful. Yeah, he like, ain't starving. This like, is this is a lot smaller like, than it used to be, and I just, and but it and likes like, itself. And for the women that say like, "Yo, you're men, you don't get it," like, my oh, zipper's open. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> like, Thank God the shadow goes that no. way. But for everybody knows that. Now, so what's up? Get it? I have two beautiful sisters and an amazing mom. I get the I get the image, but not. You should be invested in your talent and your natural beauty. Then you do not sacrifice your image. Their and looks, Pete's is amazing. Their looks are part of their talent. That's, no. that's their credit. Well, that's but, what they. No, believe, but like, though. if you look at if you look at Rachel Taylor, I, I'm like, if I'm saying her name wrong, I apologize. Look at her season one to season two. It's a huge difference, and it's very alarming. The same way I reacted with Jillian Jacobs from season one of freaking Love to like the last season of fucking Community. She lost mad weight, and she didn't have to lose that weight. She's already beautiful. I really need to catch up on things. All right, Stephen Bauer. So, Pete, you think Tony is a scroll or Mr. Defeat fell to Earth in Avengers? Mm. Nah, I don't know. No, but I will say this: one, one, of the, one, of the, one of the Avengers, one of them is a scroll. I would say. I'm that sure. Later. Which, if if like Hawkeye survives, let's say he's a scroll, for sure. Actually, I think, you know, if I got you want me to put money on it right now, Scarlet Witch. I mean, not Scarlet Witch, Black Widow. No. If I got put money on it, I will say freaking um Joe Pesci. Joe Pesci's definitely yes. a scroll. Joe Pesci's a scroll. Good so since the late late nineties. <laughs> professional scroll though. He's a professional scroll, that's what I, I you know what's nice that another hot take? It's like a say, Kardashian. The twenty the, the Bruce Banner they know is a scroll. It is what it is. But sure. the Hulk is real. Everybody likes a dumpster fire. How is that? Right? I don't know how that's going to work. You walk by a dumpster fire, you have to stay. Oh, I heard a rumor right? about Nick Fury yeah, are, being one. That's practically... Worse? That's, or is it going to stay the same? He's in the Captain Marvel it movie. Yeah. It's practically guaranteed. But you watch the whole time. <laughs> uh, Diego made some bullshit comment about the quality of our video. Come on, Diego. Really? Are we going to do another shot, guys? Yeah. I mean, that's what we should uh-huh. do. There's not that much left. You can pull one. Go ahead. Go for it. I mean, I'm, yeah, I'm you're the host here, sir. you got to do the host thing. I'm still good. i got to Oh, that's right. You gentlemen are drinking drinks. Yeah. Pull one. Uh, DJ, DJ, uh, DJ A1. A1. What's uh, up, man? Will there be a reunion between Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and hopefully at least Coulson? I Colson? hope so. They better. Like, I mean, if people are going to die, they should at least find out Coulson's alive. What about chopped liver? You have yeah, right there. Drink there. No, but like, there's a shot. This but we're running low on that. Drink that. Okay, fair enough. We finished a whole bottle in one night. In one, like, an yeah. hour. Okay. You got a beast behind the seat right, right there, so. Happy oh. St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> Another thing I really loved was another thing What's I really that? loved. What's no, no, no. Diego wants 4K. You really want to see us, motherfucker? So, in 4K? Do you really see the ripples in my stomach? <laughs> You'll see the ripples. So stop being a cheap fucking buy us some. Listen, listen. Go on Patreon, send us about a grand, and we'll make 4K. The screen can be cracked. That's what Patreon is for. You don't want that in your life. Wait, my nipples have acne. My nipples have nipples. You don't want that in your life. Patreon.com forward slash Pete's Basement. There you, you go. Your life. I can't promise we're going to have better videos. My wife doesn't allow me to have nipples. Uh, Tommy, you're sexy. Oh, babe. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, are you guys still answering the question? Because we got like 10 Thank questions. you, Anthony. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm trying. Yeah, answer the question. Answer the other questions. questions. I did answer that question. All right, great. Thanks. So, uh... <laughs> Buddy's theory, Scarlet Witch sells out Vision when Thanos promises to bring Quicksilver back to Travis Wilkes. Oh. Mm. That's a good one. That's good. That's a really good one. That is, re- I never considered that. So Who's, okay. Whose theory was that? Travis Wilkes' buddy. Travis Wilkes' buddy. All right, so that Scarlet Witch sells out Vision 
because Thanos promises to bring back Quicksilver. Wow. That is great. <clears throat> that is great. Like, Never thought of that. If, I, if, I can bring up, if we can bring up with a Tim and Eric fucking like meme with him like his head was floating, <laughs> that would be perfect. I think right you now. should make that meme now. Yeah. Like, no, you can edit this. Put it up there. Yeah. <laughs> can you do that? It's you can do that. Episode is, but yeah, you can do, you can do that. You can do that. It's a natural. I can just do this right now. I might as well. I don't know what four is right now. So here, here was a good one. Thank you for me being sexy, though. It's nice. Greg Henderson said, "Cap can hold off a helicopter. Cap can hold off Thanos." But can Cap hold off Thanos in a helicopter? And he sent the picture of the Thanos copter from the 80s where Thanos actually had a helicopter with his name on it, like something out of Batman. Because you're it's not your helicopter, it doesn't have Unless your name it has your name on it. I mean obviously. it's pretty fucking simple at this point. The Thanos copter. I, I have a helicopter, but it's not mine because it's leased, so it doesn't have my name on it. Uh, I wanna be able to do that. Like, quick to the Peter Copter. Personally, oh, myself. Yeah, of course. That's the whitest shit I've ever heard of. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty white. Not on paper, though. But <laughs> if you look at my skin, no black guy that wants a helicopter with his name on it. No, but like the, the, the actually, honestly, the fact that Kanye doesn't have one yet is kind of surprising. But he has Kim Kardashian. No, no, so, but hey, no. Does he have his name on loud. her? No, but those did he put his name on her? Do we really want to have this? Honestly, right That's the why I should never like. You're right. Like you talked the one thing I heard earlier. Like yeah, my kids are taking Thai Bo classes today. <laughs> like why did I? But I mean, Billy Blanks was the Thai Bo guy. You want a white conversation? Why did I not? I took the two white kids tonight? in fucking Paramus, and they're like, yeah, my kids are taking Thai. My class. one Benz had less gas in it. I, I, you know, I had this discussion with we a can friend go of ours that the, it was like a. I, I don't know. It was gauging success. That was right. Why do you have red hair? Shush. It was success versus Orgation. real success. It was art artist degree success. And it was art degree success. You have a job right. that they that allows you to have money that gives you a roof over your head and keeps your bills generally paid and keeps you in foodstuffs for the month. Real success is you have a job that keeps you in money to keep your fucking gas in your second Lamborghini. Difference. Great on a curve. I don't know about that life. Charles. Then there's the third life. They won't allow me to explain. Which is really white. So that you're never going to get a Budapest movie. I'm sorry. Rumor has it that he's searching for the. It's like, why didn't I wear the third bright Oh, shit. Speaking of movies. Did you see Evil Patrick and Thanos meme? No, send it to us. I heard a rumor that Batman dies in Infinity War and Hulk's gonna have to have a weird CGI mustache. That's hilarious. Well, it's not gonna nice. be too weird, the mustache. Nice. Wait, Batman dies in Justice League? Because I didn't see it yet. It's gonna be pretty correct. Not, not to it's say we're fucking like fucking like Infinity War, but... Am I correct, Roger? Can we just give props to praise the fucking yes. Ava DuVernay? Fucking be the director of fucking New Gods? Yes! This is a big well, deal. This is a big fucking deal. Like, I'm so happy. What did she direct? Traffic. Traffic on the Time. Oh. Nice. I didn't see the movie. Is it good? It's very good. All right. Yeah. Do you think she'll do the new God's Justice? You must, and she's pretty excited about it. Yes, because like it has to do with the fucking current DC, uh, DC Cinematic Universe. Right. And there is really no current DC Cinematic and, Universe. And it's, it's possibly we can see Dark Side for real this time. And A Wrinkle in Time is doing very well. Did it beat Black Panther this week? No, it was second. That's funny. I'm sorry, that's just funny. It's been out for four weeks and it, it still can't be beat. Dude, like, I say it once, I say it again. Black Panther made $1 billion in 26 days. Motherfuckers can't pay rent in 30 days. <laughs> this is true. Black Panther, by the end of this weekend, I promise you, unseats Avengers as the top grossing domestic superhero movie of all time. And, like, you know what? I'm, it's I'm, gonna happen. I'm gonna pull the card out. I'm gonna put the black card out right now. Okay. You get to do because that. Because the, the trailer that came out today... And everyone realized that the final battle was going to happen in Wakanda. Black people bought tickets to see Wakanda Black again. Panther again. Yep. Just see Wakanda again. They bought tickets to uh, uh, Being from the outside of this whole thing deal, am I correct to say that with the new Avengers movie, will Black Panther have a bigger role in it? Absolutely. Otherwise? Yes. They're, they're, they're I think the, they knew that... the final opus of... This movie. Because uh, uh, is it because, because of the, of, the movie being out right before? Is it because of that that it's so relevant? I don't think it was, I don't think it was changed at all because of the success of the movie. I think they planned on the success of the movie and made the final battle there. That's I think they much, knew already 
what this movie was they, going to they do. They knew that, that, that yeah. by ticket sales, they, they knew it was going to trump pretty much anything they were going to. When do. they saw the Fandango and now they know the new Avengers movie is going to trump it. But you have to add where the, the Black Panther movie was. I I be honest with you, I still haven't seen like, it yet. My, my, I don't have the time. My beautiful mom, I love it. Hi, Jeannie, mom. Hi, mom. She 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 never cared about a comic book movie. She saw fucking Black Panther. I think my mother still doesn't know about comic book movies. <laughs> like, okay, so like, there's another movie after this called Avengers. Mm-hmm. What are the Avengers? She's invested, but I even know what the Avengers are. But that's cool. My mother still and thinks all I that play money PlayStation that they got from Black Panther is going to fucking Infinity War. Why it's do you need the internet? Lit. It's going to be fun. great. It's going to be Senior Mom, Citizen Tuesdays at Animal Drop House. Knowing that they were doing movie. reshoots uh, afterward, and. A lot of us think that that's because there was the deal between Disney and Fox, and they were going to try to bring in Very like sure. an X Men or a Fantastic Four character. Which now, still being at the Justice Department, is, tr- is still not sure about this deal. Even though we're all sure that they're going to let it through, yeah. but at this point, there's not enough palms being greased. Maybe, but do you think that they may have done some reshoots to make Black Panther more of a hero? In this movie, because they saw what the pre-sales of his movie did, I that's would, a possibility. I would not say no to that to that theory or thesis per se, but I will also say that it's a fair they, they, hypothesis. No, they they expected they expected the the pop the pop uh, the popularity of the movie, but it over exceeded their expectations. Mm-hmm. Like. I think it did. Four weeks in and it's still at number one. I think that plenty exceeded any expectations. Most comic book movies sit for two weeks, three tops, and that's that. Like, right now, right now, Disney's playing that no character, be it major or minor, in this movie does something stupid. Legally. And at this point... Diego says uh, filming Infinity War was done before uh, anyone knew success of the book. They did reshoots? And th- there were they additional reshoots shoots January, after, January after the March. deal went through. Uh-huh. January to March, they did yeah. reshoots. Well, that's why well finalizing and everything had to come after that, pretty much. Just well, yeah, then it's all... Like, layout but, of everything, but, 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 correct? All, like, well, I mean, sweetless nights for video and digital right? editors. I'm, I'm, I'm not I trying to be the argument here, but... At the end of the day, coming from a person who comes from the outside the comic realm, everything has to be placed correctly. If you want to see what happened with Black Panther and Black Panther did so well coming from a person like me that he has to be placed in that movie correctly to make everything work. There were no Am reshoots at the time Panther came movies, out. Nothing was placed correctly until everything started to roll correctly. When no, that's all was Marvel. Right. That's thanks to we're, Marvel. Uh, yes. All their cinematic universe. Exactly. Yeah. But there, I, there were no reshoots when Black Panther came out, but... The reshoots were from uh, up until I think the end of January, if I'm not mistaken, January, and that was plenty. But you had to you, you had to make up for right. stuff that was going to happen right. from the movie. I'm not you had to be blast. you had to be ready for the fallout or the forthcome that would happen from the Black Panther movie. It being good for two weeks. That's what I'm thinking. Like maybe they, they may have had to be shots ready for to it make him because of the a new Avengers more, movie had to be ready for everything. I can say I can say from like pure knowledge that. There were reshoots from January to mid to mid to late February. Of course, it made sense. Not just made sense, but like there were reshoots for Infinity War. Okay. Because uh, I know people that were in history and Atlanta that was there. I don't know what that means, but thank you. Yes. That looks like a heart and love. Uh, yeah. Edward Rees would like to see Luke Cage, Jessica Jones, Daredevil, Iron Fist. Just a cameo, man. Just a quick <laughs> shot of horrifying outriders in New York and them Fucking them up. That'd That's nice. all I ask. No, you know, no, you know what we would get. Uh, I'll be real with you. You know what we would get. We would get a freaking byline of like a news, a news, a news, a news broadcasting in the background, something in, in, on a yeah. TV of yeah. a news thing that this street is level happening. heroes. This this just happened. The news, like, like perfect example, season one Daredevil. Mm-hmm. There was an attack at a at a building downtown. Uh, with, with, with so, so-called heroes. Okay. They said that in the bottom line at fucking the preset season one of fucking Daredevil. DJ A1, uh, yes, the Black Panther director has not signed on for any sequel. They actually haven't announced a sequel yet, which no, surprises it, me. It's official. It's official? The, se- the, se- the sequel's official. Okay. They announced it uh, Monday officially. Oh, but okay. That, I didn't miss that. But it hasn't been confirmed that that, uh, that Coogler's directing. But it has been... It has been Official, they've announced the sequel. There will definitely be a sequel. Like 
It made a million dollars in 26 days. Do you guys plan on watching the Tomb Raider movie? No. I've, heard, I've actually heard nothing but good things so far about Tomb Raider. And I think she's I really I think it's cheap. played out at this point. I, I agree, but I'm, I'm interested Sorry. in the movie, and I do want to see it. Uh, also, I'm, heard, I'm hearing a rumor, a little bomb from the shadow, that Alicia Vikander is being eyed to be... In, let me get. Let me make sure I got this right. Shout out to the shadow. Always giving us love and praise and yep. knowledge beyond the years. Uh, that Alicia Great. Vikander of Great. Tomb Raider is being eyed for Susan Richards for the Marvel Studios Fantastic Four reboot. Ooh. You heard it here first, folks. I also didn't know that she is the real life wife of Magneto, Michael Fassbender. Yes, that lucky bastard. Yes, that girl is really cute. She He's has no girl. chest, and it's unfortunate. No, 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 no. You know what it is? She has a regular chest, which is okay. No, I mean that's little. I have a I have bigger tits than she does. All right, can I come from a, uh, a she's field a perspective? B. Sure. She's B. Completely no, far off the whole a point. B. She's thirty four B. Nonsense. We're, we're all right in Thanos's. You know what? It's Jock nuts. here. Yeah. Sure. Uh, will Let's there be your origin movie on him? No, I don't no. think so. I think you're getting a villain. And they actually have flashbacks in this movie, as we saw, yeah. with Gamora being a little kid, and yo, how dope does Thanos look in that armor? Oh my god! Wait. I don't know. We didn't even no, We didn't even touch on the shit that like fucking like. But how Who much would be based off? Can That's you Gamora. Show so much. To That's gotta be to Gamora. Are you sure? I'm positive. Like, I thought it was. I thought it was, I, I but I'm not, I'm not sure like, now. It was like a little green girl. No, it gotta be Gamora. Roger, no, one of my friends on Twitter is like, "What if that? What if that?" Zero. I'm not gonna read this point. So. Death. What is that? Death walking down the aisle with him? Huh? And I'm like, oh my god! I never thought about Death being in this movie. I don't know. I might have to watch the trailer for the hundred and sixth time. All right, Something I'm, like I'm, that. I'm not one on one. But I know I never thought about freaking Death being even a character in play. But when he said that, I'm like, oh shit! I never thought about death. Death could be in any kind of. Incident. I think it's, I think that's a flashback showing Gam- like when he conquered Gamora's planet and took her as his daughter. I think that's <clears throat> going to be during a flashback that's sequence, a and I think that's probably the best origin of Thanos we'll get at that point. But I just the the this tra- I was a little nervous about getting a new trailer, and the fact that we got one, and obviously we knew we were getting one, but. You know, I'm always worried about trailers showing too much. I still don't think that's happened here. And I, I hope we don't get a new one before April 27th. I think this is enough now. And just drop the movie. i tell you right now, we will get another one. But like, it will be just as vague as this one. And I hope so. And the reason why I say that is because, like, I, the, first, the first trailer we saw, we saw basically, you know, Earth's Mightiest Heroes reacted to Daniel showing up. This trailer we saw, Earth's Mightiest Heroes getting defending, fucked up by Thanos' and guys. Losing. So I'm, I'm going to cut you off for just a second because no. that that it, that's a good idea, but it sucks. So why don't you let me come up with the comments, ah. and then maybe it'll be good. And you just see Tony like, "Wow, <laughs> like you're an idiot!" <laughs> I, oh man, I was such. A, and you see like Peter's looking a little like, and Drax like. Yeah. Ah, it's so good. Dicks on dicks. Just Here's more dicks. <laughs> and I, the I just see Tony's face like the every time Star Lord is talking like Done? anything. Yeah. The Bud Light. Everything about it was just so good, and I really. It's like this. this I'm so, giddy. I can't wait like, for this movie. Like we we can spend like a whole hour dissecting. Oh, absolutely! Like, dissecting every moment of the trailer. It's like you know to the point where like freaking like, you know. To the sarcastic, what's his name again? From Tony, talking like fucking Gamora. What's his name again? First of all, how the fuck did fucking Gamora get in Tony's presence? I just, I can't wait without, to see without, all of the character interactions. Like, 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 the, like, the three things I'm curious about. Number one, how did Gamora get with Tony to talk about They, they were banging for a little while, if I'm not mistaken, in the comics. Very true. I wonder wow. if we'll see any sort of, like, flirtation there, and maybe that's why Quill hates him. It'll be too much work. Yeah. You do it. Think so? All right. I don't think Disney to do, do daring to do so. They even read the fucking movie yet. Number one. Number two. Just the whole, just the whole, like you know, the banter between all, all, all the parties, with like freaking like the train to fucking Peter Parker and like you know, with like you know Tony and fucking and fucking Star Lord. You never had a, a presence of like you know. They don't think this threat is real. Mm-hmm. And that is the beautiful thing about this trailer. And now they've kind of come to that realization, like, it is. It's like, no, we got this, oh shit, no we don't. 
I like and he, how he's like, if he stuff. gets all the Infinity Stones, he can wipe out the universe with a snap of his and fingers. And once again, I say it again, and you're already here first. I want Infinity War to end with Thanos doing a snap. Would make sense. And then the screen goes black, no end credit scenes, no, no nothing. No, no, this will be the first. For I at least five be, minutes. I, I mean, want this to be the first Marvel movie scene, but... ever. Did I you think have we have to have an end credit scene after that? Scene. That's what it's I want. Gotta, but it's got to be bonus the, scene. But it's no, got to be no bonus scene. Yeah, no but it has to be the bonus scene because with no credits, it has to be. The next Maybe bonus somebody scene. opens no. their eyes and like, where am I? No, I want. No Who's, who saves him? Uh, you know what? No, the no, one person no, who no, actually no, outlasts no, that. No, so, so, no one no, can at this no. point. You saying that? I'll, 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 the only one who outlasted it in the comics isn't in the damn movie series yet, and won't be until Guardians Three. So yeah, it's anyone's game. I'm really, honestly, this is what fills me with such curiosity is I have no idea how they're going to beat him. Like, if they, if, you know, if they want to fucking gleam the cube, that's the way you're in the movie. God, I hope not. Yeah. I hope, it's such a MacGuffin. I hope it's not the cube. It's the greatest MacGuffin of all time. It is, and that. that's the problem. It would be cool if there was, he snaps his fingers, five minutes of black, and then the credit, the after the credit scene is the credits. <sighs> This is why we don't let Roger direct movies anymore. Uh, what up, <laughs> He's Liz good at it. Velez? What's up, Liz? What up, Brian? Brian says, uh, um, I always appreciate... Hold on, let me get it. I always appreciate the PV. I just want Colson to show up. I we agree, Rob Sawyer. All right. Um, hold on. Joe DeLuca says, Tom! Yeah. yeah. Yes. Joe DeLuca? My cousin Joe? Right, some Joe DeLuca. Some Joe DeLuca, hey. And uh, Shannon joined. What up? Hey! Can I do this? Oh boy. Oh, you can I do this? <laughs> can I do this? Yes. Fucking Joe, hey. 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 So hey. come with the cam, Kesadine. Darth Myers, what's up, buddy? Edward Arese. Scissor hands? Just a cameo. Throw in Colin, uh, Colleen Wing, too. Uh, Patrick Matero, what's up? About- what's up, Patrick? Did you get your mail yet? I'm all about Kyrie Wayne. Yeah, she's Raider, fucking LOL, gorgeous. Like, loves Tomb Raider. She has the most Edward. like underrated fucking C cup in the history of the world. Who's this? Colleen Wayne, the chick that plays Colleen Wayne. She's a C, is she? She's a C. They really downplayed her no, in Iron no, Fist. No, no, they, they, they need to throw her in some no, tank tops. No, they, they stopped her in fucking some old Mystic Damn, damn it. No, no, I'm sorry. Sorry, Jory. I'm so sorry, Jory. Can I? I'm so sorry, Jory. Wait, but. I'm so wait, sorry. But, wait, I'm so but, sorry. But, wait, but, wait, but, wait, but, wait, but, wait, but, wait, but, wait. I can say it, right? You can say it. You can't I, I chop those down. I cannot. Those are like E's. You can't chop those oh down. God. Oh my god. Oh my god. Can I just can, can I just can I just you you can just keep looking that way for a second. Just look that way. <laughs> you motorboat and son of a bitch you. You old okay, sailor you. <laughs> you old sailor you. Tori Mystic is the greatest man of all time. He has the greatest woman of all time. That's all I'm gonna say. I'll agree with that. I apologize in advance. I'm gonna agree with that. Edward Reed, some theorists say Hawkeye's family died. Yeah, his whole family's getting killed, without question. No, not Linda Kelly. Oh, she's so God, cute, Cardellini. I love her. Oh, I love this. Oh, uh, Velma. I love this Grandma's ER. boy. Grandma's boy. Come on. Come on, show me. You're really going to go with that? Get... Nobody going to say that one? Push she's it. She's prominent from that we'll movie. Push it. She has the greatest for this push it ever. And she fell down. Anthony and That's Anthony what Anthony white people do. I hate your face. <laughs> Pew, pew, pew. How does he awesome. see me? <laughs> I'm gonna get roll up like, It's gonna be a painful one, but <laughs> you posted it to Instagram. Patrick posted it to Instagram. Nice. So if Patrick posted it to Instagram. That means he got his mail so far, and that's popping up on screen. Nice. If in fact you did post it to Instagram, I'll find it because I didn't. I didn't see it yet. But what's Instagram? Exactly. <laughs> there's this thing called the internet. So, there's these things called comics that we also review on this show. That's what I'm here for, right? That is what you're yeah, here for. Go for it. Go for it. And After Shock's Betrothed. Movies. So, this was basically like a modern day Romeo and Juliet. Yeah. And they, they are blatant enough about that. They say, like, listen, like Romeo and Juliet. Where? These two kids. Thank you. Are on Earth, but they're not from Earth. They're both orphans. They have no concept of who their parents are. And... They from the moment they see each other, they hate each other and they're hopelessly in love with each other at the so same from time. Delaware. I don't understand that joke, but okay. Delaware. I'm We're in Delaware. No one goes to Delaware by on purpose. I'm this saying. girl like punches this throw. kid square in the grill as soon as she see like you talk about a tough girl like step on your faces, look at you. Opening panel. Hey, my name is so and so. Boom! Get the fuck off me. What? 
I'm like, all right. And then the next page, like, he's taking her tooth out of his mouth. Like, she knocked his tooth out. And there's not really, really a lot of blood for getting your tooth knocked out, but that's neither here nor there. And then the next panel, they see each other, and then they're making out. Like, all right, I guess all's forgiven. And their friends are like, what's going on? So you find out that on another planet, in another universe, or another galaxy, or whatever, there are these two warring factions, these two different peoples, not necessarily families, but two races that hate each other. And the girls from one race, the dudes from another, and then they get warped off to that planet and dropped right in the middle of, like, a, you know, big old family gathering. And it's like, hey, welcome to the party. Now you guys got to kill each other. And that'll settle off who is in charge of the planet. And they're like, I just really want to fuck first. I'm in high school. Like, you know, look at that. But who says that first? Hmm? But they both say that? No, but that's wow. like kind of the idea that you that's get. That's what you Good job. That's uh, definitely... I mean, is it the well, guy, the well, girl? Hey, there's no judgment on well, either well, end. Well played on that. Well played on that. Good job. What, 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 who's saying it? Is the guy that's going to be... Who, who, Nobody fucking? actually physically said it. Or is it the girl it? say where we're going? But I'm reading minds here. And of course, I'm saying, going with the, e- the evil to the or. That's I think they definitely want to like bang a little bit first. He's a, he's a they got a few about, days yeah. during this... Uh, this like That's truce the thing, of the right? races, while these two hash the everything out and settle everything. I think I can kind of see where the result of this is going. Like no. they're gonna get married instead and have anybody lives peacefully ever see, after. No, it was very interesting because like I, I, I read it like I was I was like you know it's it's you it was read Romeo and Juliet. It was entertaining. <laughs> like it wasn't like you know I did read you Romeo know what and I read? Juliet. I know you did, so it's not gonna end that way. I know that. But I think this will. I don't no, think they're going to poison each other. The only thing other. I ever read was no, my it's, transcript it's when I was getting arrested. I was curious to see, you know what, like, how far they can go between, like, Life's you know, simple thing. the story that we know and the story they're trying to portray He's like, right. in millennial times. And that's why I was, like, intrigued with it. And, you know, like, the Auburn was, like, it was nice. The Auburn was good. Great. The thing I, I trust Aftershock to tell us a fucked up story. Yeah. So I think it's going to be a fun ride getting to wherever we're going at the end of this book. All right, so let me ask you a question. Oh, all right. Like I think I believe this is like what I think. I think it's like uh what, uh four or five ish. ish. I'm not actually sure how long it is. Do you think it? Do they pull the shit on themselves, Freeman. or it's the parental advice? I think they're not going to want to fight, and the other like the leading factions days, of the races are the ones who are going to try to mess okay. everything up. I, 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 I really only turned yeah. forty one. So I think they're the ones who are either going to try to turn we shit against each other, much like a Hollywood Church gossip Friday. column. Yes. You know, like how high school goes. I was thinking TMZ all the way. Yeah, absolutely. I think they're... Like, I oh, out, but I he said this like, about you and this and that. TMZ with this shit. Like, I'm sitting. You're doing good. I mean, I'm handsome, so it's really not that tough. You, you are a sexy bitch. Yeah. I know. Oh, I'm sexy. <sighs> I am nobody's bitch, but my wife's. Well, so that is at least bitch. one person's. <laughs> right answer. You're we right. are talking about comics now, working class. Yes, we are. I love my wife. She's so hot. Thank you. <laughs> Probably not. No, he's I mean, probably not. He's I mean, just I'm, I'm no, he's just not getting in trouble. He's getting laid on purpose tonight. It's a cinder block. That's no, no, that's why. Just throw it at me. Look at you. Look at you. Please don't drop it on the floor. Yeah. You're being a being a hefty ham sandwich. Good for you. Yes. I just wanted the people online to see that. No one saw that. No one can see that. But it's fine. We saw it. So would you like, like to sit with the cinder block? I can let you sit with the cinder block. You know what? Okay. Yes. Can we, can we do that? We can trade off. The longer... Rotation, go. Let's go. The longer this goes. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, go. Sit with this... We gotta sit with this in the block now. I need a beer, though. Well, go do it. Just All right, you need, open it. you need to open it. Man, Sit every there. time you drop that... You need to open it. It's not as much stuff. Tom! Oh, Tom! Could you come back on and show your trick for oh, everybody? Yes, I can. Before your teeth fall out. But yes. make sure you bend down and show the camera. Well, bend so down. Bend down. Look, look that way. Can you peel that nail? Yes, I can. I can. Over. I'm not opening a fucking... Never been done right before on, online. Never been done right away, before online. By the way, for the dentist, look, this is what you can do. A little lower, a little lower. That's what she said. Just get, oh, the said. Pretend you're proposing to the people on the internet and get on your Let knee. Let me get to that, I'm sorry. That's a taxi reference, if you don't know. <laughs> what does the yellow light mean? Slow down. All right, kids. <laughs> what kids, do not try this at home. Mean? That is a sealed bottle on a non-twist top. Ah. Hey! Oh, let's see, ladies and gentlemen. Real booklet shit. 
<laughs> Real Brooklyn shit. Thank you. Everybody. That's his party trick, folks. That's all I got. Um, <laughs> Real Brooklyn <laughs> shit. Now I'm going to take a nap. <laughs> <laughs> Dan, that was effortless. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. <laughs> Everybody, so, so, we need to introduce So, Eric, welcome to the party. First time on the show, maybe second or third time only, actually in the basement. This is Roger's brother, everybody. Hey, what's up, Eric? Roger is the man behind the madness and the mystery of this job. I think they know him by now. There might be some who have seen this for the first time ever. It doesn't matter, they know me. Just making sure. So, Hola, uh, como estas, mommy? Yes. another company that I trust implicitly is Alterna Comics at this point. Ooh, yes. This book came out last week, Sonatus. I had to go to another Midtown Comics to find this. And yeah. the best thing about Alterna Comics is you, like it's a three issue series, it's a dollar fifty. So even if you don't like it, all you wasted was the price of a regular one Marvel or DC book. Take a look at that. No, but it was intriguing. It's a newsprint comic, and it's about this dude who returns to his childhood hometown and goes back to the, the place where every, all of his friends used to chill and get drunk and have parties at, which is like this creepy haunted house out in a swamp. And the house is still haunted, and it's fucking with him. From the moment he walks in the door... I'm in. I mean, that's it. He's in a he's, he's a dude stupid enough to be alone in a haunted house, and it's giving him flashes of memory, and it's also sending this weird tentacled Cthulhu-like monster after him. I'm in. What more do I need? And like, and like I said, it's three issues, and it's a dollar fifty. If you don't like this book, you have wasted four dollars and fifty cents. This is best alone make you want to be invested into it. I really do. Like honestly. I the, the more old, I read from Alterna Comics, art. the more I like it. What no what drawers what drawers you into? Like, 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 I'm a big horror fan. So like anytime I get a cool horror comic that it takes a lot to make me jump anymore, you know, but I I like a good horror story. Really? Anytime I, horror does nothing for me. Really? Really? Yeah. Like just you don't like it or you I just imme- I immediately scary? dismiss it as as non applicable, non I just completely dismiss it. So have you just never experienced a ghost in your life? No. Really? Well what my mother never let me watch oh horror. Guys. Pete, really? Pete, can I ask a question? Yeah of course you can. Alright, so 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 Dwayne Martin was in Scream Two. Okay. He's the only black guy in the movie. Yes, he died he, first. No, no, no. He's the only. He's the smart black guy that actually left. He li- he lived. He lived because he defied the odds. Okay. He, he said, "You know what? Why people are dying? I'm out." You didn't feel any type of way over that. No. Wow. I have to leave the camera. That's crazy. <laughs> you gotta walk off again. <laughs> wow. 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 Did he say? I felt camera? nothing as anyone died, as anyone lived. Wow. I I usually end up rooting right, right, right. for the no, killer. You gotta take a shit. No, I I love you to root w- for the killer because I like to watch a good sex. death scene. At this point, like when you're watching, uh, especially slasher movies like Jason or something like that, or the book we were talking about last week, Hatchet, which is kind of some people would call it a Jason ripoff. I call it an homage to the Friday the Thirteenth series. Uh, it takes place in Louisiana, where this dude, these people go into a swamp, and there's a this big old spirit of a, a like, of hillbilly things. murderer. And you know these people are here to die. They're cannon fodder. Mm-hmm. So at this point, all I want is a fun-looking death. I know they're going to die. Make it look cool. What is it about death that's so appealing? I don't like humans. <laughs> I, I don't like people at all. It's the end to an existence. I... To be the all end to what you've been... In. There's a question to an answer. Or answer to a question. Man, we can't get you drunk no more. You start getting philosophical or collized. But it's not. I can do this sober. It's very simple. Your life is a question to an answer. At the end of the day, you have to be able to answer the question. The death is the answer. That's exactly what it is. Well, it's the answer we all have to circle at the end. You've been asking the question to have the answer. It's a fucking useless answer. That's exactly what it is. And at the end of the day, your answer will never be correct. That's. I think. That the wa- being able to watch other people die on screen, or even in a comic book, visually watch them die, kind of maybe 
lessens the fear of our own death a bit. And that's tr- I'm, not, I'm not trying to get too psychological on this. I just enjoy a good horror story. I enjoy the concept of demons and ghosts because I have encountered spirits before. I, there's a spirit running around this house. And if you stay long enough, it will make itself known to you. And, and she actually taps you in the back here. She might. Actually, uh... She made me throw up in the corner over there. Wrong Sword asks, did you ever look into the background of the house to figure out who the ghost is? As a matter of fact, we've been living in this house for... My parents have been here for over 40 years. I've been in this house for 37 years. We rented this house from the family of the original owners of the house. The house was built in 1910, and it was owned by the same family up until we bought it. So it kind of narrows down who the ghost could possibly be. However, however, it, do, it, it narrows it down to one family, but it could be myriad people because there were never funeral homes back in the day, and wakes were held in the it damn could have been somebody house. who died making the house, so you don't know that. It could be somebody who died making the house, we have, but I'm We all... have ashes of a human being in our fucking living room. Pretty crazy, it, right? It doesn't do nothing to me. Well, that's... I get dressed in the morning over it. That's it fine. It does nothing. It's just... it's it, A body a is dead. It, it, right. You've never it. experienced... Otherworldly energy. Just hang out a couple more times. You will. You will. And I'll tell you why. I don't. I don't see it. I'm gonna tell you why. I don't really see it. One time we were leaving the basement, and usually what happens is, uh, I'll bring all of this nonsense and stuff upstairs, and Ramon and everybody else will pack up, and they'll be outside on the stoop waiting for camps, right? And I'll come down and I'll meet them on the stoop for a final goodbye for the night. I was drunk, obviously. Ramon no. does not drink at all. And we were not talking about a horror book. We were not talking about anything of the sort. Horror movies, right. anything. There was no topic of that conversation going on yeah, that night. Good, right? And he looks at me, right. in all honesty, mind you, sober, mm-hmm. and says, yeah, you know, I love coming here and hanging out, but sometimes I really hate being the last person out of the basement. And I knew exactly what it meant. I knew it. And I looked at him and I'm like, did something follow you up the stairs? And he's like, yes. And it's not the first time. And I'm like, dude, you just, just like nothing precipitated this conversation. Nothing warranted it. It came out of the blue. And the fact that he said it out of nowhere, uninspired, just said it, literally justified my entire existence in this basement, hanging out down here because I'd always felt it and I'd always experienced it. But I thought I was crazy. I was like, nah, nah it's, just, it's gotta be nothing. I'm just j- making myself jumpy. The fact that this guy turned around and said it out of the blue made it real for me. And I'm like, you you really like just said that shit to me. I've always known it. When it, it fills the room. When it's time to leave, it is time to leave. There are times when I am in my house, even upstairs, and I won't look in the mirror in the dark at night. I will not. Because I feel it. Like, I know I'm going to see something. Right, I'm like, yeah. I don't even want to look at it. I don't want to look at it. What was that? You have something to say about it? Because he's been bullshitting way too long. Right? No. Shut up! First of all, the mic can't hear you over there. I, I wish this motherfucker in the basement would learn how to edit. No. <laughs> that would make sense. No, so like, you know what? I'm just, no, I'm missing the thing. Like the spirit spirit editor some shit like that. <laughs> no, you know what it is? Or at least watch the camera, make sure it doesn't stop. No, I'm missing the Pete, and I'm still in Pete. Right. There's, I have there's, the there's sports no news no now. Oh, breaking the, sports uh, news? Yeah, yeah. Like, it's killing me right now. Like, I'm like, I can't say it. Because like, it's like no, breaking no, sports no. news. Like, like, oh my God. Like, it's like, oh my God. It's like, it's never happened before. Like, ever. Ah, you can throw out some sports news. Well, we can work that out. Guys, all right, so like, Hold on, Teach right, me something. Go ahead. All right, so like, like I love what people are saying. I like agree with Pete with everything he said, and like, you're a fucking asshole. I love you. <laughs> but something happened happened in like the sports world that never happened before in, a, in his I life. Just saw the, thing, yeah. the Mets won. No. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> fucking, Virginia was a, a Mets fan. No, a number one seed in the NCAA tournament yeah. lost their first game tonight. To a 16 seed. It's never happened. It never happened in fucking like ever, ever, ever. Like, oh my god! Like, so who lost to whom? 
Virginia lawsuit. I don't even know. I don't even care. So is that the action of ghosts or no. spirits? No. no. Virginia law, no, Virginia law. No, but when so, when you get a chill up your back, that's the action of ghosts. No, it's, it's the action of a, a no, but frightening. You were the number one overall seed and you lost to what is this, seven? your cousin that's not cute. Uh, the cousin that the fat guy thought was cute. Like, the hottest thing in the world, she didn't want to fuck you, she fucked your fat cousin. That's I don't understand. Virginia law is a very fat cousin. We're talking about extinction <laughs> level event. That has to yes. be ghosts? Um, it's never happened no in the history of fucking NCAA tournament. I'm just letting, I'm just letting everybody on Periscope. Oh my god. Know. This is a very special episode oh of Pete's Face. We're I, no longer talking you, about comics. You're incredibly footnotes because the people on. Oh Ice my god. Are never gonna see this shit. <laughs> oh, my god. oh my god. Thank god. All this shit's gonna be cut out. What? Well, Thank what god. No, you, you, so you'll be there, but not. No, the, the conversation about ghosts will be in. For sure. No, that should be in the different for sure. But like, maybe not. No, all of it. we get a snippet of like this. This, this happening. It's this like, is why you need to watch this shit on Periscope. Is because it's unedited. insane. Oh my unedited. god, raw. Like, oh my god, like, like, I need. Mean, it's like, you know what it is? It's like Plastic Man beating fucking Dark Side. That's how major this shit is tonight. That happened like, in sports. I got three news alerts about this. Whatever it is. I don't like, know about sports, bro. It sounds pretty like, cool. like it's that serious. It's, it's like, it's like, it's like Batman getting beat by the calculator. <laughs> Never mind. We're not throwing the punch. Right, I was not supposed to flush. Right? Thanks for no, you can flush as long as the shit. thing's open. T, could you Where hand you me the moonshine up there? Because I'm out of whiskey. Going in? Uh, I gotta. I'm out of whiskey. No problem. Yeah. I said yes. Yeah. I'm out of whiskey. I said yes. Who's going to sleep? No uh, one's gonna uh, sleep. Our UK friends. No, no, no. wait, UK. Stay wait, up, wait, wait. Working up. class, stick around. Stay We're gonna up. do some moonshine. Shannon's watching this. This is water. Yes. <laughs> Very tasty. Water. You gotta bend down because we can only see your tits and hey, stomach. Hey, Greg, you gonna do something? Bend down. We can only see your tits and stomach. Pour the shot. I'm not gonna bend down. I'm gonna do that shit. Oi. Be down. Be, get involved. <laughs> Like, this is when I throw up. You want one? <laughs> okay. you stand up for the blue shine. Yes. It's like Ant Man being a celestial. I mean, I can give you a it's, like, it's, it's not major that what happened to that. That probably would make somebody get to. Oh Did you give one to yourself? Oh my god. I'm the black one. I so, no, I mean, you are, but I mean, I am. I would, but. I <laughs> I'm sorry, I had, I had to do that. That was great. That was great. That was great. <laughs> and you know what's worse <laughs> is these idiots were written away and no one's ever going to see that. No one knew that but you and me. This motherfucker's going to show his ass on your show. Please don't. There was one. No, 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 no. Show there was one no. ass. ass. No. 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 Oh. Yeah. Woo. There was one ass yeah. on the show already. Oh. Oh. We just lost like 35 viewers. We need a few more, but for different reasons. Charge 23. Oh my god, that actually burned my eyes. Uh, 50 shades of yes. Don't shoot it. Don't shoot it. Don't it can't get wor- no worse. It can't we get worse. Sip it. Sip it. If if we have, it's new time. We have to. Sip it. Tell him to sip it. We have to. Following the advice of Brother Ryder. Sip it. Don't shoot it. Oh my god, you shot the whole thing? Oh my god, dude. Dude. Oh. Oh yeah, God! Don't throw up, please. Wow. Are you filming this? Yes. Like, get this. You all right? Wow, that was good. Oh, it's not that bad. Sure. Wow. Please, please don't throw up. Oh, Backpacks. Backpacks. It's, it's water. 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 I got water. 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 No, I got water right here. It's sure? rubbing alcohol. Yeah, how many you drink? You're rubbing alcohol. Oh my God! Twice. Wow. No. Yeah. That's Devil Springs. You said don't shoot that. We shoot That is basically Devil Springs. What a little bit of sugar on top. They got. They got was raised the south. My God. Oh my God. Water? Water? Who, who's saying that about my ass? Someone has to say something. I don't. I actually missed all the comments about your ass. <laughs> oh my god! Wow! It looks like two pancakes folded from north to south. But it's okay. <laughs> That's, That's great shot. We're gonna have another spring. Frank said, "How do I not you get butter on those pancakes?" And thank you. Tom's ass. Pete's basement. Tom's ass edition. And it's just gonna be Tom's ass for like forty-five minutes on screen. That's it. It's, it. it's gonna be brand new every week. <laughs> Forty-five minutes. Hey, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, your defense. Yeah. Everybody yeah. wants to. Be. 
Well, luckily, Facebook's the comments don't disappear on Facebook. Get so the really image out of my face. So, oh my god. Lynn, Lynn I mean, Morrow, Roger did try Lynn to warn Morrow you. On Facebook. Lynn, how are you? Oh my god. My scope is broken, and the next comment made that is my eyes. Somebody was like, oh my god. Tom's ass for us. Could you, could you make a knit doll of Tom's ass? Oh my god, I'll I pay you. Ass. I got a glass of my ass. Liz, Tom wants an ass glass. Can you you a, boy's glass? Got a, knot, a boy's got a knot. A little boy's got a knot. You, you, do the, you tell her. You tell the okay. Everybody. Roger. Oh my Roger. god. This is what you're going to get out of this deal. Lynn Morrow is one of our greatest fans. She makes these yeah, awesome like little knit dolls that are over there. She says, sure. Awesome. You're getting an ass knit doll, dude. <laughs> to memorialize this moment in full 3D. I am so ordering one of these. That's what it is. If any of you want an awesome knit doll of your favorite superhero, Lynn will be happy to make one for you. We're gonna make Tom's ass the knit doll. I'm gonna hold it right now. Lynn, I'm good. I'm good. I'm like, oh my god. You're gonna have to actually knit Tom's ass. And it's just, it's funny enough just to Honestly, just a big old circle with a black line down the middle is fine by me. Make it a pot holder or whatever. No ass. I have a whole... Well, a you got a white girl ass. It is what it is. No, I do not. I, I, <laughs> I, I gotta shut up. I gotta shut up right now. You I probably do. I love you, Shannon. I love you. Your wife is so watching this right now. <laughs> yeah, she so hates you. I am so sorry. Oh, my God. Oh, you're coming That's... right back here to sleep. Check out Lynn on Etsy. Check out Lynn Morrow's shop on Etsy for the Thank tiny. Go Thank find you. her on Instagram for the tiny. Wow. This is a very special episode of Pete's Basement. Quite. Next up, we've got Black Masks Come Into Me. And yes, all of the sexual implications of that line are very implied in this story. This might have been my book of the week. This was nuts. I cannot give a full statement because of recent events, but I didn't read it. I did read it and like Make sure the, the it was fucking stop. dope. Right, like yeah. wait, you're in now? Oh, oh yeah. wow, yeah! <laughs> oh, this is a monumental occasion. Rogers in. Cheers. Oh, I, got, I got a little bit left of that. Cheers. Cheers. It's a raging wish. I got it. Salud. Oh yeah. By the wait, way, is there more beers? Uh, Can I have a beer, please? You want my life? Yeah, yeah. Right, I'll, I'll, take, I'll take one too. We two. got eighteen hearts. Wow. Oh, that, oh shit, that's what Roger looks like. Oh, that's what Roger looks like! <laughs> you got that right. Hi, first Roger! That's what she said. <laughs> this is the first wah, appearance wah, of... It's not wah, actually the first wah, appearance wah. of Roger on the show Hi. before. Hi. What? What? Right, what, what? Roger has been on the death of Ramon. He's been on... Um, the... F- uh, what was it? The... Uh, the... Uh, that's Ramon's, one's my... I was on Ron's basement. You were on Ramon's basement. You'll be on the 500 episode, yes. You will be on the 500 oh, what episode. What about liver? Hey, is there another beer in there? Wait, here. is there another beer? I'll. What, what else is there? There's another beer. Here, 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 here. Here, here, here. Do we drink everything? I gotta run upstairs. Cheers. 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 Let's go. We're good. 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 All right. Salud. Hey, hey, hey. I have, I have alcohol <laughs> upstairs. Okay. That I can go get. I have okay. a bottle of tequila. Even yes, though I'll break my own rule. Dude, dude. Wow, and you know, the show is going to be at least three and a half hours tonight. People. Pete's editing. I really can't. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's no editing. It's fine. Uh, 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 I heard a rumor. Get out of the light. <laughs> that Roger's no. scroll. Yes. Are you a scroll? Oh, no, we've already covered that. In Are you sure? Season one of Pizza. Vegetable Tube wants it to do shots off of Tom's ass. Probably <laughs> not going to happen. And we'd have to have... We don't have any more shots to do. will happen. We have shots if I run upstairs. I have a Lafroig that I haven't I even opened yet. Whoa. That is so unapologetically I'm not, peaty. I'm not... I'm not... I'm not, you know... I don't really want to do shots off your ass, but if I was going to, it would be Lafroig. Because, shot. honestly, Lafroig tastes like yeah, shit. Two shots. Come on. I like Lamar. I know you do, and you're a comic. I want to see that last comic. This guy? Yeah. 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 No. Resource. No, dear God, no shots off Tom's ass. (laughs) I agree, Kate. No, no, no. 
that book was actually like a very appealing to me. Like, the I book was, was very good. Like I was shocked at how good it was. And like, you know, I read, you know, when I read, and like, I had a whole day of reading today. And I I, I like text you like, no, I was reading Assange and X-Men, which I didn't want to fuck with, but like I was fucking with them for like the last the last arc to this arc. I'm like, you know what? It made me pay attention. I saw this book. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to keep on reading because I have time. And this book actually, like, you know. I <laughs> love you all except Tom's ass. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I don't blame you. Stay away, Kate. Be, be, be committed. Tomorrow's no, but, Saturday. Sleep is for the week. No. But I know. This book right here, like, the writing was great. Was the it writing, that bad? Call your guy. Get some cocaine. Stay awake. No. The writing was Mark's great. Still awake. The writing was, was imaginative. Mark yes. Freeman says. And and then also the most important thing for every comic book reader out there, and maybe want to come back for the next issue. And it's only three issues. How do you, yeah, you, how, you can't beat it. Yeah. You can't. I, I just you talk about this one. I really yeah, appreciate still. the newsprint. I do. I appreciate the printing. I like that. You know. Um, that you know. I mean, there's, there's sort of a lot of theories about print being dead. This and, proves it's not. And I think that, you know, there's still a lot of, like, room for interesting print right. stuff. And I like the fact that they're trying out new print stuff. So. No, you can make a quality story with depth and, like, acknowledgement for a buck fifty. And still, and, like, for our perceptions, make the fucking bottom line. Right. And still make money off Absolutely. of it. Absolutely. Nobody gives a shit if it's, if it's glossy paper or no, I never, hologram No, I've covered. never cared about it. I lo- I love the grain of the fucking uh, the fucking pages. The right. reason they started with glossy way, paper Roger is to keep <laughs> shit going at not at a nine point eight level. It's all for CGC grading because all of these newsprint books are so hard to grade nine point eight because they, you know right. if people read right. them. The newsprint rubs off on their thumbs. Right, but that misses the point of comic books, I think. I agree. I think, I think you, if I know anything about you, you agree. Absolutely. It's like it's all about the experience of you having a comic. Reading, reading the book. I agree. Listen, Especially because if you're if you're the one, first of all, I hate, and I've seen this shit all the fucking time, people in the stores looking through the backs of and spines of books on everyday books. I watch this asshole at Midtown Comics Looking through book after book of zombie tramp, you fucking jerk off. Because that's exactly what you were going to do with that book when you got home. You're like, eh, zombie tramp titties. <laughs> Looking at the fucking spines. Like you were going to do a 9.8 of zombie tramp. Who the fuck cares about a 9.8 of zombie tramp? What is that book going to sell for? What's it going to sell for? Uh, you're going to try to get $100 out of that deal? You're not going to sell that book for $100. Fuck you, asshole. And you're standing in the goddamn way to boot. Can't hit the key. No, up. because of the, 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 the demographic of like. <laughs> 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 On a very special episode. Yeah, Tom is chanting, key. get him tequila. All right, after this book, I'll get the tequila. After maybe yeah. after the show, we should get the tequila. No, fuck that. No, we should get it on the show. Make this a lot, man. We should totally get this on the show. You say so, I go for it. I, I talk, Dr- Greg's drunk already. Of I, course he's gonna minute. agree. I'm, I'm slightly sober, damn it. Greg, you're not. Greg, <laughs> Greg, you're a liar. The slightly sober. Tonight. Greg, you're giving me that look where I'm starting to not believe you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I am drunk, but I'm I'm, I'm constantly drunk. Okay. White people way too much. I swear to drunk, no, I'm not no, caught. No, no, no. I'll give you the Bill Clinton finger. I'm constantly drunk. I know what I'm doing. Very observant of you. It's a personal OCD thing when people do that. I do that, but I step out of people's way. I'm not sure what we're talking about. Thank you. Thank, thank you, wrong word. Thank you. Balmize this. Because Stone Cold said so. We're after 3.16. I'm sorry. I, I was a little late on that. Well, what, is it 3.16 in the morning? Don't say no, that. No, 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 no. 3.16, it's, it's the date. Oh, it's a never-ending story. <laughs> never-ending story. No, 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 break it down. That's, like, all right, that, that's a whole other extra. Let's, let's save that You're going to have to explain shit. that to me later. Dude, I like kids. <laughs> I'm assuming you're saying that as a quote of the movie or some shit like that. Falkor. I hope so. Uh, Falkor. Yeah. It is. I like kids. Trying to help you here, man. I want to make sure that if I'm sure we make sure when they get this in court and they're like, he clearly said, I like kids. <laughs> I say, 
<laughs> play it in context. <laughs> yes. What? No. You're not playing the whole no. clip. Fuck or that? I love my Your girl. Honor. I love my Your girl. honor. All right. I love my girls. We're done talking about Sonatus. You guys talk. I'm going to run upstairs and get the the, oh. the apple. Oh. Are we? Am I going to stay? We have to do something. By all means, stay. Just entertain the fans for a moment. I right. can't talk about right. any of these comic books. No. Right. Well, you know. I'm not sitting there. I can't sit there. I can't no, sit there either. Oh, God, no, uh, you can't sit there. It's a lie. How much? You got something to share. Oh, it's, a, it's a lot. It's All a right, lot. So one book that I read I got it. I know you got it. I got it. I got it. I got some reference. I can't bounce, right? X-Men number eight. That's, no, bounce, no. I have my knees, man. Apparently, I saw the X-Men brought back in the book. Charles and Xavier. Life. I didn't hear what you said. I'm just trying to imagine. Trying to imagine. I'm going to a happy place right now. That works. I'm that heavy. I'm not even giving you everything. This is everything. You're good, man. That's everything. It hurts on your ankle, right? Here we go. We go back up. We go back up. Here we go. He's using fucking. He's using fucking Ireland as like his. This is not what I expected. This this episode to go. It's fun, right? I went deep. I went deep. My ass crack. I'm I'm a little bit. Thank God for my research. Honestly, honestly, and no offense. My ass crack is not very clean. My ass crack in the video. Honestly, I did already. It was there. Honestly, ladies, no offense. Me too, right? You have to do it. Bottom line is this. Your toe. Your toe goes down. I, I, read, I read a thousand X-Men. The, this, this, this is current all right now, and I was shocked that I... That no, don't get sick. It's fine. I, I love you. Anybody. You're like a brother to me. And I am like, your you brother. Know, yeah, I like realize you. that. I'm like, it's your brother, but... How they want to bring uh, Xavier back to the fold. So mad. And... What happened? You're going to edit the shit out of this video. It's cool, see? Oh, I got tequila. I might delete the originals on Periscope just because I feel like this is the moment. This is the moment where I was violated. I think it's issue 8, issue 7 started, but issue 7, 8, 9. It's a great art right now. All right, wait now. Can we leave? Can Tom's ass open a beer bottle? No! (laughs) No! There's only one way to find out. Let's find out. Who said that? My teeth my teeth can't open anything. I think we're out of beer bottles, unfortunately. Give me another bottle. All right, Pete's basement fans. Do you want us to open the Lafroig or the tequila? What is the tequila? The tequila is something with a devil on it. Okay. Can I just can I get uh quiet for one hot second? It's an excellent question. Oh my god. I would I would like to take this time to apologize to all of the Pete's Basement loyal fandom out there. This may, in fact, be the worst episode of Pete's Basement ever. <laughs> no, I and I'm really sorry. I'm just... I don't think Honestly... It's been, been worse. Uh, it hasn't? I've watched it's it for been 10 worse. years. It's, so, it's been worse. It's so worse. This is I, not bad, actually. Here's what I'm... I might bad. have to just <laughs> refilm the entire review section as an episode and just upload this whole fucking thing I'm uncut... Gonna, Two. How many Pete's Basement how many, extras? How many uh, comics you got left? One, two, three, four, five, six. That's not Plus bad. Plus questions. No. That's not bad. No, I'm, All right. I'm, wait, hold on. Let me see this. I can't mention one while you was going. Ooh. Tom's having a little trouble back there. Yeah, it sounds like it. All right. I'm just going to start off by saying... I did for that. I hate this shit. That's I was so gone cool. for three seconds. How did you do Infidel already? I think I did. I'm not sure. <laughs> well, no. we're going to do it again. I don't bad. remember I it. I blocked the last 10 minutes of this episode. Bad. I did drive Still, yeah, we're going to have to do that again. <laughs> you kind of need the again. host there for that. No, I'm not doing this again. Not no, again. No, 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 I did. I did Drag Country before fucking Astonish the X-Men. Yeah, I was impressed. Like, that actually just doesn't make sense. What? You can go ask my folks. I don't have fear in my nice. Hey, can I have your beer? So you You're gonna get everyone? shot by her, by his parents. Nah, they they know him by now. They they used to him. And they, and really don't they, like and they won't pull the trigger. Nah, they will wait. Go ahead, go ask him. Give him. Fu- they will pull the trigger. That fool will flush me. Not him. You want that? Yeah. I can't. I'm gonna kill you. Down before I come down. I'll kill you. I'm gonna say I can't do it. It's not because you're black that you can't do it, just so you know. <laughs> no, I can't do it because, like... I'm very white. Your mom, no, your, your mom realized when, I, when she was like, Oh, my and God, hey, Greg, how are you? She actually called me my name. I was like, yes, I, I made it. 
So, so yeah, you're, you're known. Like, like they know of you. Yeah, I made it. I'm I'm, yeah, I guess so. All I think, right. like in the first. Now season, tell me, this does not smell like a dentist's office. It does. I hate this shit. Can I tell you something? Yes, you survive. love it, don't you? I kind of like the dentist. Survive, Benjamin. Why do you like the dentist? I'm that guy on that on that on on Little Shop of Horrors. You don't use Novocaine, do you? You just want to feel it. Little Shop of Horrors. All right. I don't know what well, how about you man the fuck up, finish that shot of fuck moonshine, you. and I'll this pour is, you a little. This Lafroy. is the worst idea I ever heard. Yes, it is. Oh, well, listen, Tom and Greg did theirs in one shot. I would join you. Thank you, Greg. I like, I like Moonshine Slow. It's Friday night. I like, I'm slightly sober. Friday night. I'm slightly sober. Yeah, it's slightly. Yeah, a lot. Honestly, no, not I, over the comics. Oh, you're right. What the fuck do I know? I think for the back. I I like Moonshine. I like the Moonshine. Yeah. You like Moonshine. Yeah. Take my time with Moonshine. And I'm drunk. You said Moonshine. You did say Moonshine. Hey man, I'm good. Jesus. I am. Ugh. As a matter of fact, I have this to say. One thing I think you got to. Putting it to Pete's basement. There you go. The greatest show on late night. On Happy St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day, even though now we're drinking scotch. We are drinking oh, an scotch. Isla scotch, which by trade are unapologetically Petey and not my favorite. <laughs> and Lafroig especially. Yeah. I like so it. So here we go. Yeah. You know, bad, I am I am uh, I am uh, a third Irish. Not bad. That bad. Jesus wept. That bad. Anybody know where that line's from? Hit us up on Periscope. Oh my god. Yeah, no, it's terrible. It's so terrible. Oh my. Should we just go right through the questions? So no. No? No. We're what gonna, should we do next? We're gonna go through this. We're gonna get through this. Yeah, are we covering everything? Are we finished the list? No. Oh, we haven't we even started. started. We've through. barely started the list. <laughs> this is why I'm questioning, should I just do a separate review and upload this whole thing st- stupidly and separately? Um, halfway. Not even halfway. What, what is the middle, what is the oh, middle uh, camera? camera? I think that's what's going to have to happen. I think that's honestly what I'm going to do here. Is, is it still recording? Yes. Everything's what is, recording. What does it say at the top? What is the numbers? 126. Oh, we're good. Go for it. Yeah. Go for it? Yeah, go, go for it. Free you, range. You can, free do, range. you can do the rest of the episode in, in 30 minutes. No, I can't. You you know we can't do the rest of the episode and the questions in 30 minutes. So, that's what I'm going to do. Here, here's what's going to happen. Here's oh! Gonna, really? Oh, really? I went there. Like that? I went there. Go ahead and show your craft. Wow. Show your craft. I talk too much yeah. for that nonsense. You can do it, man. I, I believe in you. I believe in you. Here's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do. You guys watching this nonsense on Periscope, you're going to get the entire uncut Peach Basement episode, whatever the fuck has happened tonight, Tom's ass and really? all. Yeah. Oh, my God. On Peach Basement it. Extras. That happened. Okay? It. That happened. Yes. Motherfucker! Oh. That too! This All of this is going on Pete's Basement Extras. I'm going to want to walk right in front of the camera. <laughs> if you haven't subscribed... Come on, Tubby. If you haven't subscribed to Pete's Basement idea? Extras yet... Somebody go. I want you to... Like, fucking hell! <laughs> <laughs> he thought this was a better idea, somehow. So I don't understand. Instead of walking right in front of the cameras, he thought he should sneak behind us somehow. The only that one who could sneak sense. behind us was Dave. Remember? Hey, well, he he, he might. I mean, funny, so he was about. <laughs> he did smell funny. He was about three inches wide, so he, yeah. could, he could pretty much sleep, sleep with any crack. So listen up, guys. Up, All of this nonsense is going on Peach Basement Extras. Go on YouTube right now and subscribe to Peach Basement Extras because we upload all sorts of insane and funny shit. Motherfucker, dude. Is that what I sound like? Is that my voice? Yeah. Is that my voice? I didn't do that. Do you ever hear yourself? That's why girls don't want to have sex with you. <laughs> That's fucked up, dude. That's so fucked up. I hope you crash your car. <laughs> I did. <laughs> Again. He doesn't cut the street. So is that well, really a law? He said <laughs> my car was a broken. Man, you better, better, yeah, blah. <laughs> I would light this place on fire. <laughs> <laughs> I warned the people I like down here when I light it on fire. 
Get out of the way of the light. Go get some beer. Beer. And I mean, if you happen to find a 24-hour liquor store like the one on Grand Street off of Bushwick and you want to buy a bottle of Jameson, I'm not going to yell at you. You are yelling at him. I'm yelling to him. Roger. This episode. He's talking to him. He's talking to him. He's talking to him. Jameson! I just have to not get pulled over. Jameson! You're walking, right? Jameson! Jameson! You don't have keys. I got your keys. This is the place that, like, you got to put the fucking money on the counter. They turn the turnstile. Like, you can't even get near to fucking, like, to rob the shit. I have your keys. I have your keys. I remember I took them from you. Yo, talk about comedy. Oh, no. God's sake. <laughs> Look at this. This motherfucker's a director for 20 One minutes. Day. All of a sudden. All of a sudden, he knows what he's talking about. Eat your fucking barbecue chips. I want some of that. He's in the fucking basement one day. You bring your other brother here and he thinks he's in charge. Oh, hey, man. He's, he's actually doing pretty good. I mean, he's all right. He's, he's giving the right orders, but he's still giving orders. He's doing pretty good, actually. <laughs> he's all right. He's not wrong, that's for sure. He's not incorrect. I didn't say he was wrong. Right. I'm just yelling at him for giving orders. That's all right. Yeah. He's putting the head. Allow it. I don't, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. If you're still with us, and thank you ahead of time. 14. 14. Holy shit. Black masks come into me. Yes. The sexual implications of that title are very implied. Didn't we do this right? No, I mentioned it, and then we went off on several tangents. <laughs> Are you sure? Yes, very sure. Okay. All right. I got as far as the title. All right. So here we go again. All right. Let's see if I remember this episode or not. So, in this book, we have it's like one of those five seconds into the future kind of books. Okay. Um, you've got a new breakthrough in medical science where <laughs> this guy has invented this new. Machine and honestly, the machine it kind of looks like a weird little alien pod thing that you're being hooked up to, and there's a plug that goes into the back of your head, like think something out of Neo in the Matrix kind of thing, and it plugs your brain into someone else's brain, and you can kind of feel and hear what each other's thinking and feeling. So, the idea is in medical science, like let's say you got one of those phantom pains that you can't explain. You know, mm. and it's for like if I'm a scientist, you know, I'm a, I'm a doctor. Yeah. Right. And you got one of those weird phantom pains in your gut that you, you don't understand and you can't explain it or whatever. Yeah. And you hook into me. Can I can it. feel it so and you know. I can better yeah. diagnose it. Yeah. So it's actually like a really interesting and brilliant medical breakthrough. Sure. But the guy's running through a couple of problems with the test runs and he gets this woman. He's running out of funding as well. And now he's got, like, stiff competition in the medical world that other people are seeing what he's doing and they're trying to replicate it before he can, like, officially patent it and everything. Uh So he gets this woman who comes into the office and is like, listen, you're you're not realizing how far-reaching this could possibly be. There are people who would pay money to live in other people's bodies, experience other people's memories and thoughts. So this could be, like, a new form of social media, you know? And he's like, that, that's not what this is about. He's like, Being she's like, yeah, but bitch. you're out of funding, so that's what this needs to be about. Mm. I'll pay you to do this. You know, let me hook up. And he's like, but it's only for couples, like people, like two consenting friends or something. Right. And she's like, yeah, but again, you're out of funding. Right. So it's pretty mm. much whatever I say that. it is. Right. I'll give you fifty grand to hook me up to this thing. And he's like. All right. Real talk, that's not a lot of money for a startup. Admittedly. But, I mean, when you're that desperate, like... Well, if you're desperate, it's it a start. great. I mean, I would have been a little more hardball on that one, but that's fine. But Chris she... Leo, I'm, I'm, can the other person consent about this, or you just get in there? He hooks her up to him. That's the rule. She wants to be him? For no, grand? he says, all right, I'm the guy in charge, you're going to hook up to me then. And that's the way it goes. So she gets to be him for 50 grand. Yes. And she's cool with that. And, but he also gets to be her. Interesting. So they're experiencing both of each other's lives at this point and okay. memories and feelings and everything. Now, the thing is, and this is a spoiler alert, uh, at the end of the book, you get a bit of a twist. You are, you're kind of granted a little window into her life and you realize she... Might be sick or something. Something's wrong with her mm. that they're not exactly telling us. She wants to go in and not come out. And that's what happens. Ah, I see. She gets the transfer and dies. 
Right. Her mind is still in his in body. Jordanovich. So now they're sharing his body. Yeah. But he's still her in right. here. Right. And I think this was her plan all along. Yeah, clearly. Cause just something to keep on living right. at this point. And he's stuck with her. Mm. What the fuck are you going to do? Yeah. And it's so fucked up because, like, the, art, the artwork in the book is very, like, scratchy and sketchy. And it's, ve- it's a little bit horror, a little bit sci-fi, and a little bit, you know, psychological thriller. So it's... And like I said, you, you have to wonder, was this her plan all along? Right. You're sitting there like, oh, shit. I think so. Now she's dead, but uh, you, I kind of thought like maybe she was going to, and now... I, I feel like it would have been her plan. I, yeah. I'm in for this for uh, for the long haul. This was sick. And uh, like I said, Black Mass has been hit or miss with me. This is definitely a hit. Come into me, and it, you know, it's very... Like I said, the sexual implications of it are there because you, just the way they're being hooked up right. into each other and everything right. and the way they're experiencing each other and they're experiencing all about each other. Like, he's seeing her memories of, you know, like, meeting a dude, fucking a dude, and he, mm. she's experiencing his memories of childhood and being, like, you know, uh, f- forsaken by his parents and shit because he's a nerd and whatnot. It's all, like, it's very... Uh, close knit, I guess. Like you're, you're becoming like almost instant best friends with this person. Like you've known them well, for years, but you've just met them because you're sharing your so much. You're interesting, yeah. yeah. Have you ever seen Being John Malkovich? No, but I. Great movie. movie. It's a great, great movie. movie. Great movie. I, I, I know the scene now. where like he opens the this? door and he's looking out of John Malkovich's yeah. eyes. Yes. Malkovich, Malkovich, Malkovich. Oh, it's so it's a great movie. <laughs> That's not how we normally do the show. You just wait till we're to stop talking for a while, and then you say a bunch of bullshit. Yeah. I'm being the host, man. No, I know, but they're... Li- so, so... The, they asked the yeah, Greg. Right. I, I said, hey, Greg is doing the asshole stuff. Not now. <laughs> <laughs> and at least 20 minutes. And actually, Periscope is fine because normally one of us is monitoring Periscope. Facebook is the one that you should really monitor because nobody here is monitoring. Yeah, you can have it on Facebook. How you doing, Greg? I'm doing great. I'm going that way. Why? Oh. I'm going that way. All Good. right. Okay. You going to the bathroom? Need something? Yes. If you need something, let us know. You know, we're here uh, for you. I need a bathroom. You got it, man. Sec- last door on the left. The, the one with the trap. Yes. Yes, Brian, it is. Brian Kenny says, whooped. Brian, what's up, buddy? Hello. Hello, Where Brian. the fuck have you been, See pal? You tomorrow. Send us any information. What's up? Me and Brian are going to go see Gilbert Garfield tomorrow. Nice. Very excited. Damn. Try to get him on the show. I, yeah, he's a New Yorker. He lives, he, yeah, I mean, if you haven't seen the documentary about his life, it's I like highly Brian, recommend Brian, it. Oh my God. Is he dead? No, he's fine. Great, great to fuck up. Okay. No, no, no. You all right? Yeah. Oh my. Remember, if you die, I have to dump you on the neighbor's stoop. No, well, I guess no. fuck up. Greg, break up. You good, bro? Okay. I'm okay. It doesn't lock. It doesn't lock. That, that's why I just closed it. Okay. Don't lean against the door, pal. All right, guys. It's all real. This is all real. This is Wow. This is all going up on Peach Basement Extras, and I'm going to send you a separate video of me <laughs> doing this entire review and the Infinity War trailer and everything. Well, the Infinity War trailer part in the beginning was probably was pretty good. Was fucking insane. It was good. No, it was good. I think it was insane. I think we should keep that. Okay. What do you guys think? Should we make... The- Maybe I'll just make a separate video of that. Yeah. Okay. And then the rest of it will go on Peach Basement Extras. Nah, all this goes up. Oh, no, they, they, the whole thing uncut is going on, yes. without question. But I'll cut out the Infinity War trailer stuff, and I'll make a separate Peach Basement video for that, and it'll go on the regular YouTube channel. What I would say, I would say we keep the beginning part with the Infinity War, because it was, it was good, the conversation was really good. Um, if you, if we can clean this up I don't by think the we can. end, I don't think we, can. we can maybe no, edit together can. something. No, like it's going it's gonna, to it's gonna get worse as the day goes on. It's just... Leave it. Leave it. Yeah, no, I, I, I think you're being too hopeful. <laughs> I, I don't, I don't really think this, it's possible at this, this point. Is not a children's show. But um, <laughs> if, if we, Humor. if you, okay. So the other option is that um, you edit a separate Pete Spaceman reviews the comics part, and we cut it after the end of some obvious portion, clearly before Tom shows his ass. Right. So that's not getting in the real episode. No. Or unless some kind of like slide whistle diamond wipe. <laughs> 
Air horns. Don't forget the slide whistle. <laughs> <laughs> the slide. We, we got requests for His neighbors might not yes. enjoy air horns, horns in the morning. That. We got requests for air whistles. Air whistles. I love the drunken yeah. shenanigans on the basement. Absolute, this is like, this is one of a really special episode. Look, I'm going to plug this up. <laughs> and there's the slide whistle. That is a real slide whistle. That is my great grandfather's slide whistle. Wow. Yeah. That instrument is older than most of us here put together. Oh, oh my God. I feel so embarrassed right now. How you doing, I'm buddy? Good, I'm great. Good. I feel so embarrassed right now. Nah, you're fine. Believe good. me, we've done far worse shit. Let really? me tell you. On the, uh, the 10th anniversary episode, I was wearing a pirate hat. <laughs> I don't even remember finding that pirate hat. I didn't know you had it. I pirate. edited it. And I'm looking at this like Oh my god. When did I get the pirate hat? That was an embarrassing episode. Oh no, man, no. I was so fucked like, up. Like, like, I, was, I was putting my head on yeah, Adam's no, shoulder like this. Like, you were what we were is like I was holding, I was holding so long like they go to the bathroom like I right. You did good though. I mean you held that shit for that long. Yeah. And I'm like, you know what? I feel so relieved. I'm like and it was like after that everything went black. And I just fall back. I'm like, oh shit, I shouldn't fall. I shouldn't go black. And I fall back. I'm like, oh my god, I'm going to the floor. Yes. And the door is open. The door is open. And I'm like, my dick is out in the world. Oh no, no I didn't see that part. That's good. That's I really. That's there, probably really honestly, good. I totally did not see your your penis. The truth is ugly, and there is no spoon. I think it's pretty. Thank you. Your dick. I'm, I'm not, sure I don't, it is. I did not see I'm it. Not, I'll I'm not. Right I'm now. good. I'll take your word for it. I, I'm good. I don't I need proof. I'm good. I think it's pretty. TMI. Man. I think it's pretty. Where are, I'm, I believe you. I believe you. Now I'm in the OVP. I'm like good. I, be, I totally believe you. Believe me. I, I totally Everyone on the great. basement show believes you. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Guys, we got 12 listeners. Let's wrap it up. Come on. Move it this motherfucker. <laughs> know, Let's right? wrap it up. Know, right? Has he never experienced the basement? I know. We're still good for another hour and a half. For an hour and a half. You're not even to the point of complete and utter embarrassment. Right, do you want to be professional? Do you want to be... No. We're, we're going to move on to... New Mutants. Let's go to New Mutants. Why yes. the hell not? Yes. I enjoyed this. It was very intriguing. Like, like... And like I love like the the the, the mismatch play of like you no know, Richter and like fucking like, you know Guido and like Wolfsbane and fucking. I like, like the know. idea that it was about a it was like a supernatural theme, which is probably playing off of what's going to happen in the movie because the movie is kind of like yeah. thriller oriented. Yeah. It's totally because of the movie in general. Like they basically invoked on this like and they're like no, nerd speaking, why is Guido Richter there? I don't know. I don't. I have no idea what's good. You're the X Men guy. I mean, like, 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 like for those who know me, uh, X Men all day, every day, drunk or sober. That's what I do. To I live and die with X Men. Like my bucket list is that I have every X Men related issue <laughs> all time Wait. in my in my you shot no down? holster. Good. Is it empty? I free. But this it. being no, said, good. this this first it's issue. Fine. It intrigued me. You can't fall asleep now. It's and, good. um... <laughs> I'm paying attention to Greg right now. I am. No, it intrigued me. And, like, I love the banter. I love the nightlife. The nightlife was great. But I want to see what happens <laughs> with issue two. Like, I'm coming back for issue two. Is this a mini series? I don't know. But I'm definitely coming back for issue I'm two. I'm coming back for issue two. I mean, they fought zombies in this, for yeah, God's sake. Yeah. Zombies and a, and a hoodoo witch, for God. Like, come it, on. It had, it had, like, it had like, a half-baked... Buffy vibe to it. Yes. Yes, it did. And I, you know what? Me Magic was like Buffy in this. Yeah. Richter was fucking Spike. Yes, I fully agree. And I'm, I'm, I'm in for issue two, so like, prove me wrong to make me right. I'm, a, I'm all in for that. That is, a, that is a hashtag. Prove me wrong to make me right. I'm <laughs> writing that down. You're welcome, America. Thank you. Prove me wrong to make me right. Look out for that t-shirt on Peace Base. That's um, coming. That is coming soon. A picture of Greg. There are... We're definitely we're gonna get a nice illustrator AI picture of Greg, and it's gonna say hashtag Prove me wrong to make me right. I love it. 
Can we get a sober picture of me or a drink picture? I think we I think we need a drunk picture. Wait, who on we Periscope do? wants to see us die? Wait, could, could you give me a double thumbs up and I'm gonna take your picture right now? Alright, here we go. Who? Wait, what happened? Who said that? Alright. For your approval? Did you catch it? I allow it. Alright. What do you think? That's gonna be the t shirt. That's perfect. I'm gonna cut that out. Yeah, it's right. fucking gonna happen. That's like we'll put it on the screen right now. Let's just see it. We'll put it on the screen right now. We're like, I didn't see the picture. We're gonna put it on the screen. And let you know. This is coming to represent.com forward slash store forward slash Pete's basement. We're gonna have the Greg shirt. We're gonna have the Greg shirt, and it's gonna say prove hashtag me prove me wrong to make, to me, make right. me right. Yeah. And all of you true blue Pete that true blue Pete's basement fans are gonna want one. I want one right now. I want one right now too. And honestly, represent is really great. They get you your shirt in about two weeks. The logo is huge. It's like nipple to nipple at the very least. Said. It's great. Because all the other places that we use, like the logo is like this big. I know. And like I try to order some shit for like girls on that the tank tops and the logo is like this big. Are you no, kidding no, no, no. me? Your, your Pete gives back me oh uh, basement t shirts are fucking awesome. Thank like, you, man. You know, like, I love the fact that like, you know, you take the time, the patience and the privilege of just like giving us the, the time of yourself to that. Forgive me. Man, we're, we're trying, man. Because you know what? Try out. Trying, you can fail with trying. You're Thank doing. you. You're doing. Because there Appreciate is no try. That. There is only do and do not. Yeah. Pete, someone requested you wear tank tops. I wear tank tops in summer. It's, it does happen. Because <laughs> one, I like to show no, off the chest the hat. The was a lit, so I, you know. It does happen. I, I can sign that. We actually have Pete's basement tank tops also that are. Are gonna pop up for sale on you do, uh, represent as yes, well. We do, we do, yes, we do. But right. tops, t-shirts. I'll tell you this much: if uh, if any of us follow the Bible or anything like that, which I'm not saying you should or should not, but if you do, you know that all of us have done enough in our lives to warrant that down escalator. So mm. the basement gives back campaign at the very least is just a little bit of hope for heaven credit for all of us. Like, if we get to the pearly gates, maybe, just maybe, there's a tie-up in the system before St. Peter's like, no, you motherfuckers are going that way. No. We're like, all right, see you later. No. Deuces. You, no, you want Bob and say, say like, hey, you know what? Oh, Pete, hey, you're good. No, 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 no. Uh, Sorry. It's all right. <laughs> That's all right. That would actually happen up there. Can I have a paper towel, please, over there on the right? <laughs> that would actually happen up there. Sorry about that. Oh, not on the phone. We're good. We're good. We're good. No, we're good. We can get the mic or, you know, whatever. But, like, that would actually happen up there. There might be beer in the, in the whiskey, but we're good. But that means I've had a lot of things spilled on me today, as a matter of fact. No. But that being said, I apologize for the fans. Like, no, wait. We're good. <laughs> No, no. Peace, basically, if you don't know, you should know by now. If you don't know, now you know, motherfucker. Yeah, indeed. Good job. Thank, Thank you. For whining it. Yes. I'm not allowed <laughs> to say that. Biggie could say that. I'm, he could say that. I can't. Hello, Brooklyn. I won't, I won't say that, but that being said, I love the fact you did that. But, like, my mind is this. I know, I know. Peace, basically, it's been, it, it has a decade of, of commitment to the masses. And the, the goddamn truth. <laughs> and find the masses. The masses being like you know, white, like Asian persuasion and Caucasian, and don't know what your Asian is. Like the confusion. Everyone like Pete Bateman reaches out to those who don't feel that they belong in that the little box that they have, and you realize that you know what, that box is not your own box. It's a box that among millions, and like you appreciate being different, and like we appreciate you being different, and we accept you being different, and we damn right we do, and we not only appreciate but we enunciate you be you, you are, and you accept us for who we are, and and excuse me for being like you know slightly sober, but <laughs> that's not an excuse. I came here, I came here on a humble, what, two, three years ago? Something like that. I've lost track. I don't remember when you first appeared, but if anybody out there knows when Greg first appeared, we'll send you a free comic. Please do. Like, like, 
because I don't remember, but like, I came out in a humble people, because Demetrius people, the God. Demi- Demetrius brought you here, that's right. Demetrius brought me here, and like, he's like, you know what? He's like, Greg knows his shit. And like, he's always here every, you know, every other week. I'm like, and yeah. we was instant friends, like, you, like right off the like, bat. Literally, like, literally, like, like, we was like, like, you know, we was friends and we was brothers. Yep. After one episode, and I like, took then and then some. No, nah, both of us, like, like, we knew what we was doing, and we appreciate what we knew, and we kept on going. Like, my thing is this: when you have the knowledge and the appreciation and the love of the commitment to our lifestyle, our privilege, and our acceptance among each other, it's a big deal. And you have decades of doing that. Thank you. And I feel comfortable being myself because of you. Because I never knew that you existed until... I'm not even going to be mad at that. Until Demetrius. Yeah. I mean, hey, credit where credit is due. No, no, Can me. I just say, like, I feel like if, honestly, if I were to die tomorrow, could you play that as my eulogy? <coughs> For real. That was beautiful. No, 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 no. That was beautiful. That was amazing. No, that was beautiful. No, you, you are, you are, you are the no, prism, no. you are the prism of complexity and simplicity. <laughs> Wow. As, as far as it goes to, like, you know, like, you know. I was just about to say, no, that was true, but then you said that, and I think that was actually true. You are the prism of complexity and, and simplicity. simplicity. Oh, I know, right? No, sir, no, like, we like, like, like there are, no, there are many cats like me. I mean, I, I, I don't want to say it like this, but I have to say it. There are many people like me, like, that are black and not, like, no life for life. And we're ashamed to be, like, you know, ourselves. Even if it's in constant era of like, you no, know, mm. Black Panther exploding, mm. we can now be ourselves because of Black Panther. Mm. Yes. Before that, we couldn't be. And like, you know, we had to like, you know, had that the hardcore pose. I mean, y'all had Blade, but like, it's true. Black Panther is the first like true blue hero. Blade was kind of an anti-hero. But uh, like, 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 Blade was the first. It was, Blade was the hero that like, you know, set the bar. Right. Because Blade was a dope flick. Let's yeah. let's not. Blade one and two was fucking godly. Blade three was like, you know what? We shit all over it. Yeah. We... Blade three could have been fucking dope because it was Blade versus Dracula. Are you fucking kidding? That should have been a great movie you because had... that's what Blade was fighting Dracula in Dracula's book when Blade first Here's the appeared. Here's the real shit. Yeah, Parker Posey in a movie that she volunteered for, and you failed. Yes, I agree. Blade 3 should have been dope. And we had motherfucking Heat Wave as Dracula. Dracul for the uninformed. Dracul, actually, Vlad Tepe's Dracula. Dracula translates to Black Dragon. Now that Purcell gets all the life in Romania. The the family crest was the Black Dragon. Hmm. Yes, I know. But even with all that, all that evidence being said, the first day I came here to this job, to the to fucking set, <laughs> I felt welcome, I felt loved, I felt appreciated, and I, even though I was hesitant to speak my mind, you, and I'm saying you, you say, yo, no, say what you want to say, and we'll just, we'll just go with it. Yeah. And... That right there was like so beautiful to me and to people like, you know what, that like were friends of me that never watched the show before I got on the show. So I'm saying personally, thank you. You're welcome. No, no, seriously, no. No, for real, you're welcome. I am welcome because like you gave an avenue and a and and a window for people like me, like, you know, based on black people, like, you know, that we're nerd for life, but like we have to, like, you know, triple down on being, you know, whatever, whatever nerd life we are, or like being like, you know, being what we are outside of the nerd life. We have to triple down on everything to be ourselves. You made it simple and made it truthful to be ourselves without even trying to fake in the funk, and I appreciate that. And that's beautiful. What you just said you no. gave you gave him way too much credit. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no
Like, like, like I say, did we just piece up to you, but like, we met by mistake. Yep. And like, happenstance, not mistake. Happenstance. I know. I say mistake because I want to give credit to, like, no life. Same. Mm. Shit, hey, there are no crazy mistakes. shit happens. There are no mistakes. Bob Ross would call it a happy accident. Happy accident. <laughs> happy accident. Even that being said, I love and appreciate what happened with me, with you, me, me, and you, me, me, and everybody here. And I take pride and privilege in, like, you know, being a part of this beautiful universe that you created. And, like, damn, they're close to 20 years you created. I mean, we're getting there. We're almost there. No, no, but like, it, no, no, but the, you created a universe that like made people feel like comfortable being themselves. Yes, we, we. I mean, we tried. Wow. No, no, no. Try is a way to fail. You're right. You do. You do, do or do not. You there is do. no try. You do. You do. Can I just say, as a perfectly heterosexual male, I love you, man. I love you too. I love you too. I love you too. Oh, we do. The fans sure. are pretty asking. <laughs> no, I see. I see. I see. I had to throw it out there. Too. I do, bro. I, I, I do, I do. I'm taking a piss. I love you too. All right. Now we can. I think we can get to questions. Let's do some fucking questions. Yeah. So I. This is not going to be a regular episode. Of no, Peach it's it. I'm. Or. Listen, I just told you what's going to happen on Peach Basement. No, I. I'm going to record the rest of it. Do you still think we can save it? No, no, we can't. No, I. Don't so I'm think just going to. I'm yeah. just going to throw this on. That, that was there beautiful. You go, it was amazing. That was know, this, but it's got to go on Peach Basement next week. I, I, I know. I love. I love Peach and then some. Like like. <laughs> As long as you know now. No, I agree at this point. Yeah. yeah it's okay. I, for a moment, I thought we could say nah, that. That's out of the question I, now. <laughs> and, but I, 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 it's not, it has nothing to do with nah, that. that. Peace Basement, for those who are afraid to be themselves, is the gateway to be yourselves. Mm. And we encourage everyone to just be the nerd that you have always wanted to be. And we promise you, we promise you that being a nerd. You can still get laid. That is really the key to Pete's Basement, is you don't have to be introverted. You don't have to be, you know, shy or anything else. Because if somebody says some shit to you, I highly encourage you to fuck their whole shit up. That is me. That is how I grew up. I'm from Brooklyn. If you fuck with me, I'm gonna fuck you up. It's that simple. Motherfucking facts. Go out there. I, I talked about this on the Pete's Basement Heart Health Month, and it's true. Keep your body healthy. I may be a little chubby around the side because I like whiskey and I like pizza, but I promise you, do not sleep on the fat guy. I can still move, and I can. I promise you, I don't care how tall you are, motherfucker, I can jump. I can still kick you in the head. Uh. So... Yeah, that thing. goes yeah, to anyone. Go out there, join a martial arts class. If you have ever felt like you do not belong, like you cannot talk to people in crowds or anything like that, if you feel at all introverted yes, yes. and not like you want you want to be yourself but you can't, there are a few steps you can take. And take it from me because honestly... Ooh. I swear to God, I swear to you, I, I went from that one person to the crazy, <laughs> don't give a fuck asshole that you see in front of you today. I was a very introverted kid. I didn't really talk to too many people. I wouldn't have talked to Roger if he hadn't interrupted my conversation that I was having with a really hot girl at the time. That's and cool. we've been friends ever since. Yeah, I remember that day. Yes. Yeah. Do you remember that girl? She was really hot. I do. And you just interrupted the conversation. And I, I haven't quite forgiven you for that, but I have. I love you still. You're, you know, you're one of my oldest friends. It's been upwards of 25 years now because I've known you since before high school graduation. It's actually 24 years this year that I know you. Wow. We met in 94. So. Grew up around the block. Yeah. I mean, not too far from each other, for sure. I mean, you know, relatively. Get your ass out there. Join a martial arts class, first of all. I don't care what kind you do. Shotokan, which is what I did. You could do Taekwondo. You could do uh, Jeet Kune Do. You can do Jiu Jitsu, Krav Maga. Whatever it is, learn yourself how to fight. Learn how to throw a punch. Learn how to throw a kick because it will only help your self-confidence. It will help you want to show off in front of your friends. 
because that's that that's the first step is hey look what I learned how to do and I wa- I started martial arts because I watched Van Damme movies and I really wanted to do that jumping spin kick mm-hmm. so once I learned how to do it and believe me don't get discouraged either because it took me 150 times I counted 152 times that I jumped and fell on my ass at the dojo trying to do this kick and then finally I landed it it wasn't pretty but I landed it and that was what was important and it kept me going and I kept at it I got my black belt and I kept going and I studied various different martial arts afterward and even doing the Peach Basement show uh, if you go back to episode 1 season 1 which I really don't recommend you do but if you do do it I do, just do it. Just it's see. Beautiful. Just beautiful. see. You will see such a difference in the Pete's Basement show. Not only in the background, but in the attitude of, you know, the basement crew. Because we didn't really know what we were doing. This show built us up. Now look at We built up. Hold on one second. Hold on one second. We built ourselves up into what you see today. It it took me a long time to get to this point. People actually ask me my advice now on how to do podcasts, how to talk to people, and it's it's humbling and it's it's uplifting at the same time. Because I tell them the thing that you need to do, the first thing that you need to do is forget that you're actually doing a podcast. Pretend that you're talking to your friends. Bring a friend with you and just talk to them. Forget talking to you guys as much as I love you guys. Talk to your friends because that's what the Peach Basement is. That was his brainchild from the start was, hey, he's seen how Peach Basement operated before it even started. Me, Steve, we would just bullshit about comics. He watched Ramon and Adam bullshit about comics and he's like, hey, let's bring all of this together. And that's how... Pete's Basement got started was it just like, hey, let's just bring all of these people who talk to com- about comics together and just turn a camera on. That was it. That's Pete's Basement. And that's what we encouraged was just be friends with everybody. Make it like you're talking to your friends and talk shop and have fun. And that's it. And being the lovable asshole that you guys have all experienced where I don't give a fuck about what I say anymore. That has helped me in exponential ways of kind of climbing out of a shell and being the real me. Being the me that I've always wanted to be. And I have you guys to thank. i got Roger to thank. And i got Greg and everybody else that has come on the show to thank. Crack. And Tom's ass crack to thank. Thanks for the end of the show. It is. It's a great feeling. It's, it's a humbling feeling. And it's wonderful to have all you guys with us each and every week. Because it's... Honestly, I think Peach Basement's a great show, and I love hanging out. Even if one of you guys watched this show, which I still remember the very first, the second week that we did Peach Basement, we got one fan letter from Justin Cargill. Justin Cargill, I yes. remember this motherfucker's I name remember, yeah, to course. this day. And we were like, we'd like to thank the fan yeah. for watching the show. That's right. And it was awesome that's right and we're like yo prove positive you put shit on the internet people will watch it and now look at this we're, we're talking to all of you guys we've got so many friends that we've never even met out there right and it's all thanks to you guys that we've kept this thing going and we and just thanks to everybody we love all of you guys man and we you've helped each of us be the person that we've always wanted to be and we hope that we can do the same for you guys because like, that's just all anybody's ever asked. Just be the person that you will want to be inside. And don't... Stop giving a fuck what people think. And that's all it is. That's all it is. Just stop giving a fuck what other people think. And once you do that, you'll be fine. Trust me. Take it from a guy who knows. Take it from a guy who's experienced it. Who took his own advice for the first time in his life. And just did it. It's not about quantity. It's about quality. Yep. And that's what we got from you guys is quality. And what I'll say is that um, every time we hear a note or a letter or an email that says, you know, Pete's Basement is what gets me through my work day. And we've had a few of those. We've had we've had quite a lot. And we've had quite a lot of touching emails and stuff like, you know, 
Peach Basement helped me get through a funk in my life for whatever reason. And, right. you know, that's, we I mean, that's pretty wild to think we have that kind of responsibility over people. I don't need a million hits on YouTube. I just need that one person Pressure, to say. Pressure to be myself? Yeah, of course. I'm going to say this, like, from my personal experience and for, like, those who, like, feel the way I feel. Listen, when me and you met for the first time, yep. we didn't know anybody from, like, you know, from A to B. We didn't know, we didn't know each other. No. You just like, came you know, on the show. And, like, the love and the appreciation and, like, the dedication to the show, show and to the fans. The, oh, shit. You know what you're talking about. You're a fan. I want to hear what you have to say. You open up that door and you embrace that from day one. Like, mind you, we never met, never was in the same place. Ever. Until that moment when, like... We might have crossed paths in Midtown Comics and never know. My mistake, my that mistake. That was it, yeah. My I had no mistake. idea. But... That one would be like, you know, lights on, mic on, we're in front of each other. You were so humble, so honest, and so human, which is the part that we forget. Don't and insult it, me. <laughs> no, no, no. no. <laughs> fuck, fuck with you. No, but like, no, you're so human, like, a part that we forget in, a, in day of life. You're so human that you accepted me for who I am and, like, the lies that I had. And just not only the knowledge, but like the appreciating like ups and downs I know, and like we can compare notes. Of course, that right there made me fall in love with you. Not only as a person, but as a friend. Thank you. No, sir. No, no sir, for no, real. Thank no, you. Sir, no, I want. I want the one on one. Like, like I didn't get here by mistake. I get here because, like, you know, My ex I was in a lot out tonight. Shush. Ah. Mm. <laughs> I got it. I, I. I'm here because sure, of respect. Know. On the on the privilege, on the praise, and on the anonymous, like no, you set a bar. You guys set a bar, and like there's people who not just here but around the world that use your bar as a blueprint of how they want to do their show and their podcast. That is true. That is not a lie. But no, and I sure, appreciate that. Make sure that that that, that you know. Will you repeat that as parole hearing as well? <laughs> you can ask him. Honestly, as like a character yeah. witness, I'm no. gonna bring all of you motherfuckers. All the guys, all the guys that don't think that I know, like, because you know, like, kill like, no, was the epitome of like, you know what? Oh shit! Right. These guys know what they're Ramon doing. Join. Ramon, all right, Ramon. We also need oh, you on the parole yeah. hearing. Yeah. Your Honor, he did eat her face. Okay, yeah. but he did open up the world. Face, I might kill a few people. Bob Bob is not stop on this. He did open up the world to the love of comedy. You know that like, you're one of my dearest friends. Thank you, brother. I love you immensely, Roger. I love you immensely. I love you too, brother. And like the love that we have among each other is spread amongst the masses, both digitally and whatever. And at the end of the day. With all the love and like whatever happens in between all that shit, we come back to the basis of the shit. We love what we fell in love with from the beginning. We love with the possibility of a story. And we expanded from that possibility of a story. And you found a way to not only magnify oh. it, but to perfect it to the masses that no one knew that it was out your avenue to perfect it. You did that. Somehow. You did... Yeah. You did. <laughs> That's a great... That's a great... I was one. honestly afraid of this episode all day. But, I mean... I was like, this episode's gonna be fucked up. <laughs> it's it's actually proving to like, be no, more and more amazing I as was, we go on. Right. It's definitely... A, it's definitely, you know... I don't know. It, I mean, you know... No, but... It's the, amazing. No, I want to say the, the wrong thing. The I thought it was gonna be the worst episode is, ever, but... No, this the, the the wrong this is the best episode of Peach Basement ever. Clearly, it's the most No, but the funny you have is to get fear because, like, and loving. Look, you don't want to disrespect the brand. And, like, you guys built a brand. Let's let's get to a question or two from our audience, yes, our loving please, audience. I know Roger wants a refreshed beer. Roger oh, definitely yeah. wants a beer. Which Throw him a beer. Uh, thanks correct? for coming back, Tom. And we have two more from um, Flying Dog, right? <sighs> By the way, shout out like to... Um, this is the 11 one or the 7? 
That's fine. Did you not manage to find a 24-hour liquor store that had I Jameson? Did, but I have to drive to the ghetto and not come back for an hour. The Shout out to Ralph Stegman. Ralph Stegman, you uh, you humble no. all with your artwork. Damn, son. Yeah, all right. What do we got? We have we double dogs. Oh my god! Well, why do I have to choose? Oh, well, you get one of them. Get one. I'm oh. drinking Lafroig now, so le- le- all the damage that could possibly beer. be done, let it be it's done. I'm gonna take the double dog. Greg, you're gonna have this one. This is very good beer. <laughs> Will you kiss my beer for me? I don't kiss. I make out with it. You're right. What do you need? Do you have you Honestly, you should really get, bend down get when you do that. Go over there, go over there. Go over there. Go over there. You want to go in here? Bend down. All right, sure. Bend down go. and no, show, like said that, show, show the people. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. I love that. my ball my this. For all the regulars and the newbies and the wannabes and the gonna bees. Can I say something right before you say that? Go. They let you know everything that's going on. If you have a question, you ask it. I know nothing about what they speak of. This is my best friend here. He lets me know what I have to watch and what I have to listen to. <laughs> These are my friends. And the reason why I watch this show lets me know what I have to listen to. So if none of you are actually listening, speak up now and ask the questions that I asked before because you have to start listening. You know, like they are the piece to the beginning and the end of the old comic book world. Yes. Damn right. Yes. Yes. That's an ad and a half. Yes. We love you, Tom. We love you, too. That, 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 could, could you turn on the periscope again? Oh. Your shit went dark. Oh, it went dark? No. They know what they're talking about. I know nothing what I listen to, but this is the reason why I'm here. You do the right thing, fellas. Dude, Come on. Flying oh, dog, shit. Oh, uh, flying dog, flying, right? Thank you for getting it. Thank you. There we go. All right, you were going to say something? All right. You got the rules of your life. I love that. Oh, that's excellent. Oof. Listen, ball like this. Proof. If you want the real shit, <laughs> you want the real shit, you come to Pete's basement. <laughs> if you want the like exclusives, you come to Pete's basement. If you want like learn life for life, you come to Pete's basement. If you want the like, you know, if you want jokes on jokes with no filter, you come to Pete's basement. It's a lot of good shit, man. If you just want to feel good on a bad day, you come to fucking Pete's Ugh! basement. We already decided that this is this is a special episode. Yeah, this is a I totally special that. episode. No, the, and like, it's going up on No, because the word is no like Pete's basement. Yes, is absolutely. It's not no Pete's basement is not, it's not like you know a show that we're trying to get in. No, we're already here. We just want to make you make you know that we're here. Because my answer. So, you gotta give me a good answer. Here's a question. Go. Besides the Infinity Gauntlet. What's the statue you'd most love to own uh, from Absolute? I think we actually answered this last week. You you said the uh, Master Mold statue. Yeah, Master Mold. I most want yes. the Doctor Doom statue. Give, uh, me the, give me the Master Mold statue, number one. Number two, give me... Um, give me... Um, Magneto say no, I give up. I... There's a new Magneto on a throne statue, yeah. like on a Sentinel hand statue. That shit is uh, dope. What's up? Yeah, well, you got that back there. I'm a, a big comic book fan. Everybody, I love it. I know nothing about it. I'm going to go back to the Thanos thing. Mm. Uh, I'm, I'm going to very go back to that because I'm, I'm very into the fact that everybody was pretty much with the whole uh, trail that was going on, the ending, the beginning. Everything was nice and yeah, sweet and so sour. Uh, my, uh, I'll speak louder. I'm not that fucking low. Um, my ass crack was out. Um, speak, why speak is Thanos that yourself. regular right now? Okay, that's actually a good question. The reason that Thanos is so important right now is because during the storyline that uh, is the inspiration behind the Infinity War and all of the Avengers story are currently in the MCU, Infinity Gauntlet, Thanos got a hold of all of the Infinity Gems and decided he was going to wipe out all of existence for the sake of his girlfriend, uh, his would-be girlfriend, Death. The living embodiment of Death, who he wanted to impress. Am I I correct? He wanted to impress Death by killing everyone. 
Death. In the universe. Death. So he the wanted Grim to, Reaper. So he wanted to... He wanted to... He wanted to... Death. He wanted he, to no, he death. wanted to... He wanted to, to be better than Death. He didn't want to be better than her. He wanted to say, Hey, Great. sweetie, you want to kill everybody? Here's everybody Great. fucking Great. dead. On a platter. Yeah. Immediately. He did the job for her. He did the job for her. And handed it to her on a silver platter. And she was like... Was it there. might not have been their time yet. Was she turned on? She did... She was not with it, really... She was not having it. And that was the beginning of the end for him. Alright, we got we got another question back there. What do we got? Will Thanos be followed after this? Yes. Be followed by what? The, whole, the question and the answer. Why is I asked a question, why is Thanos so involved? Will he be involved with the Whole next Avenger saga. Okay. That's strange. They it's question because like he's that beautiful. Is Thanos going to be involved in Infinity War or whatever the fuck the sequel to it is Avengers Four? Uh, I hope that Avengers Four will wrap up Infinity War. I hope it's not just a one movie thing because honestly, I. I agree with Greg talking about, you know, what happened in the beginning of this show. Uh, this movie should wrap up with Thanos winning. And maybe a few Avengers surviving via the Time Stone somehow. And traveling back in time to somehow figure out a way to stop Thanos before it's time. Before he comes to Earth. So... We'll see. Maybe this wraps up with Thanos, but I, I'd like to think that this movie will continue to Avengers 4, and Avengers 4 is where we'll see some new shit going on. Hopefully Galactus and the Silver Surfer, but that's just me being a nerd. Tom, you have another question. Uh, Wait, what's that? Roger's more important. He's so, more no, 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 Thank you. So, I think um, for people who understand the comics, understand... This, the answer to the question, but for a couple of people here I know who don't know, why is Thanos so powerful? Yes. And what are the okay. Jones, what are well, the what stones? Is it, it, would be the, it would be the Infinity Stones. Right. So what, what are the Infinity Stones? What, what are they mean? Yes. Okay. Excellent. That is Point. that is a very uh, involved question that I'm going to try to sum down in a few moments. In, in a two-minute answer. Okay. The Infinity Stones were... The life force of the original universe that was left over before this universe started. They were the collected energy of the original universe before the newest Big Bang. We're, we're talking about reincarnation of a sort. We're talking yeah. about How did he find energy. Them? Hold on. We're talking about, you know, the universe reforming itself. On a cyclical level, you know, cycles, cyclical. Thanos found these infinity gems purely by happenstance. He found the first gem, and each gem will lead you to the next one. They are calling to each other. They are asking to be found. They are asking on a somewhat sentient like level to, bottom, to be like found that. and work together. Almost like the One Ring of Sauron. Oh, they are looking to good. be found and they want to be found Probably together. And right. this is what Thanos uses to further seek out the rest of the gems and forge the Infinity Gauntlet himself. Right. Which yeah. happens yeah. during... The Thanos Quest, which is a two-issue limited series, which I highly recommend you guys go out there and pick up. Because as far as I know, it's not out there in uh, a trade or a graphic novel. So it's going to run you a little bit of money on eBay. But Thanos, there may be, there may be a Thanos Quest and Infinity Gauntlet trade, which there should be. And if there is, and I'm not sure yet... It's worth your money because it's the it's the quest that Thanos goes on to find the Infinity Gauntlet and then it's uh, to find the Infinity Gems. He makes the Infinity Gauntlet and says, mm. "Okay, I'm fucking in. Ch- I'm the fucker in charge now." So here's the question. Yep. How did he find the first gem? 
Uh, I Buffs, don't right? remember. Honest to God, I don't remember. But that's I can, the most I can that's read the most difficult. I can find. reread the right, Infinity. The first Go- one is the most difficult to find. I will reread the Infinity Quest. That was the name of the saga, the Thanos Quest for the gem, and I will let you know how he found the new gem. Because all the, the rest of the four were. The where rest of the four were called to by the new by the other gem. Yes. So how do you find that no, first God. one? No, no, no. You got to sit. Oh, we're yeah. almost done. Oh, He's got to piss. Let him piss. Let him piss. Take his place right now. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I like it. Raise my hand. I like it right now. The the gems. I the Thanos quest is one of the greatest stories ever because it shows Thanos. Going up against the the elders of the universe and not giving a fuck that all of these guys are way more powerful than him, and he outsmarts them and steals their shit. Kevin, I have a couple questions. Yeah. Why does um, Thanos? Does that, how, why, how come Thanos knows that the gems are that important? And the, is the gauntlet? Because once you possess one gem, you begin to understand that the rest of the gems. Are important. And could it, hey, look does at it this. have to be a gauntlet, or does it, or could it be like a, a hat? The ingo- the gauntlet was just his way of joining it together. Joining it together. So yes, it could be a hat. It could be, it could be the infinity hat. It could be. Could it be drawers. What you got? What Avenger <laughs> knows that they can beat Thanos? Honestly, I don't fucking know. Honestly, the, in the comics, in the comics, it was out of, of the, one of, out of all the Avengers. No one, one, no one can. That's the beauty of it. In the comics, Adam Warlock was the guy who came up, stepped up, after Captain America stood up to him and said, No, you move, motherfucker. And Thanos was like, Oh, snap. And he turned into glass and shattered him. Captain America and and Avengers who's... Nothing. They've got nothing. to me, coming from my side of the whole argument here. Captain America being the argument of the regular in the... uh, They've got nobody. They've got so, nobody that can stand up to him. So the only guy that can that? is Adam Warlock, and he's not in the movie. And so, honest to God, he's not in the movie till Guardians 3, which is way after Infinity War. So, if you're asking me who's going to actually stand up and beat Thanos, I don't fucking know. I can't wait to know. So, if you're going if you, if you to understand the whole saga that's going on right now. No idea. Can we understand that Thanos is the end It's going to kick Avengers everybody's saga? ass. Yes. Am I correct? Yes. He's going to beat and that's everybody. Be the next saga with the is Thanos snap of a finger. To be Thanos and his people are going to be the next saga in Marvel. No. They're, they're going to resolve this shit by Avengers 4. I just don't know how. Honest to God, in all of my fucking comic book knowledge, I have no idea. Being that the the difference is between the Marvel Cinematic Universe and the comic book universe, I don't know how they're going to beat him. I really don't. I have no idea. And that's the reason I can't wait for Infinity Wars because, oh my God, I have no idea how the fuck they're going to beat this motherfucker. I'm talking about mushrooms here. It's going to be great. How are they going to beat this guy? Even with three stones, Thanos would be unstoppable. <laughs> Thanos is pretty... Look at the fucking size of this motherfucker. Not he, either. Cap catches the gauntlet, I mean, and I swear to God, like his guy, hand is the size of his chest. It's just his <laughs> hand, and it's just Cap's chest, and he's like, ah, he's holding fingers. Yo, this shit is going to be dope. Go out there and get your fucking tickets now. Three of them. Three of them. <laughs> because I'm already signed up for the first weekend of Infinity War, and you need to be too. Here's our next question. I'll take a That's where I went that. on my first date. I brought, like, vodka bottles in my jacket. Nice. And I brought, like, my first date there, and, like... She blow you. Which weapon do I you use in battle bottles. against <laughs> Iron Man? Yeah. Which weapon do you use in battle if you were in the Infinity War? I think Iron Man's armor would be fun. I gotta go Mjolnir. I think <laughs> Mjolnir is probably the the safer bet if I can if I'm worthy of the hammer. I think I can control Good. a lot of things like lightning and shit. Maybe make some lightning I armor. If you played Final Fantasy, you know lightning armor is pretty up there in stats and shit. Well, I, I think. Strange. 
Dr. Oh. Dr. Strange is getting his ass kicked by Ebony Maw, bro. I mean, like, I to the point where... I mean, uh, 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 no, like, Dr. Strange is like, ah! Oh! And Ebony Maw is like... Shh. Like, all fucked up. Like, shh. Just okay. shut uh, up while I fuck you up. Just be quiet if I'm, if I'm while I'm correct. torturing you. If it's I'm, all fucked up. If I'm correct, let's go back to the DC whole drama. That's oh, really why? Bad. Why? Because it's that bad. It's bad. It's, terrible. it's very bad. Am I correct? It's bad. It's okay, very we're bad. We're gonna go back to the Joker drama that pretty much everybody's probably been talking about at this point. Um, why is it gonna be two Jokers? All right, DC doesn't really know. Tell me why Zeus second Joker. The idea it's of bad. the first Joker. All right, the idea that DC has no concept of what they're doing. DC is just basically banking on. A, the singular movies to be a hit, and each one exists in its own universe. And okay, ideally, that's a good idea. If you why didn't not, have why, Marvel's why not work on the Will Smith project, because right, because if you you didn't, you already have the Marvel Cinematic and not Universe down the whole setting, saga, which somebody has already broken down after you had the Marvel Universe What's already it? setting up the idea. Of a joined universe. So once you're making one movie, you the fans are already expecting the next movie because of Marvel. Let's say they've never read a comic book in their life. They're already expecting the next movie to join in with that one. And the fact that they're not is going to be DC's downfall. It that sounds simple. like Trinkle Down Theory. It's ridiculous. A, ba- a it's, very bad try. It's a bad, like, bad idea. Like, just why... Why are you going to do that to yourself? Nothing about Nothing success. about nothing. It's nothing just... about success breeds success. Absolute also wants to know, have we seen the new, the or, or that Power Rangers fan film that was out about a year or so ago? Do y'all guys see this? Y'all see this? I definitely see Explain it. Explain it. The Power Rangers you, fan film in. was a rated R film <laughs> starring some dude from Dawson's Creek <laughs> where... It was basically like Power Rangers rated R. It was just violent and people yelling fuck every now and then. And it was just fucked up. But, yo, it was honestly... I didn't hear about anything. Power Rangers? Power Rangers? No, no, no. It was just a fan film. Just They made this shit and it was crazy. And people thought it was going to be like a... A uh, harbinger of to things to come with the new Power Rangers movie, which obviously had nothing at all to do with it. The new Power Rangers movie was PG-13 at best and had its own storyline. But this this short film, this short fan film, was about 15 minutes of what if Power Rangers was rated R? Basically, no. you've never seen this. If it- this is cra- you've seen this shit. No, no I got this it. shit is crazy. It's good. It could be good, but like you know, it's like we have the hesitation because like you know we're fans. That is true. Like I'm all in, but I don't want to be disappointed. That's the that's the, that's, the, that's, the, that's the clear concept of like you know everyone that saw like you know the trailer or whatever. We felt that we felt that like you no. Know, I'm all in, but I don't want to be disappointed. Because I'm really right. disappointed. I'm like, you know what? Why did I waste my time? And that's real. real. I understand. So Relic Lord asks, uh, what power would you want to fight Thanos in Infinity War? I still time. go telekinesis. Time. Time? Give me time. So like, just in case you fuck up, you get to go back and do it Why? again. I should prevent everything happening before it happens. But like, what if you could only go back to a certain point and like everything is still gonna happen? OC, no, you know me. I'm OCD as fuck. Right. I'll actually like maximize that that yeah. power. All right. All right. Let's go, I'm, guys. We're gonna do a special episode tonight, and I'm gonna do everything that everybody wants to hear. I don't understand what you're talking about. Now, that's why I'm gonna ask the question. Basically. I don't saw all I give. Uh, go Greg. I'm gonna go with Greg. We're, we're gonna go this is already a special go. episode. Yeah, well, he's not retarded. Don't talk about that, so. Um, <laughs> You're a terrible human. Yeah, yeah, well, that's why I'm Polish. Um, Lying. We're going to go back to the whole Thanos thing. Yes. The whole superpower and everything that's going on. You sat out for that question, am I correct? Yes, yes, I did. Yes, I did. I'm going to ask you that question, which we're going to refer back to why Thanos is so powerful... And who can beat him in the Avenger world? 
Currently, I'm not asking no you. One. Right? Oh, right. come on. No. No. Hang on. No. Before we go forward with Greg, I would just like to say that somebody on Periscope already commented they thought the Hulk could beat him. Yeah, I was just going to say that. I was just going to say the Hulk could beat him. No, no, no. We That's what I was going to no, say. No, 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 I'm, sorry. Sorry. I'm going with somebody who knows <laughs> the Hulk saga. I'm sorry. <laughs> coming from an no. outsider. I'm no. sorry. That being said, though. That being said, though. That was from Periscope. No. You took from my argument, but... You didn't actually like maximize my argument. Uh, I'll say Bruce, Bruce Lee Thanos. Really? Bruce Banner? He, no, Bruce Banner is like the the personification of OCD. Tom cool. Bruce, I'd like to hear something. He's the he's the personification uh, of OCD, so he will basically uh, maximize. I gave you the, I, we already gave you the form. We you we talked about no, it. Yes. He will maximize every possibility to make it a reality, even though you fail. They're still will, like double double down on that failure to make it a possibility. If okay, if gonna... if Thanos gets all all of the soul stones, it's impossible to defeat him. No. Yeah, are, are, are we in agreement? Are we right agreement now, in that? Anybody who's on Periscope, can you give an answer right now that would argue with Pete's point and the Good night, Dave. Keep going. I, I want to hear everybody's point from Periscope to Facebook that anybody's going to give an argument that's going to give them a difference. I think Hawkeye could tell. I couldn't even finish that sentence. Yeah, yeah. That's, a good, that's a good I job. Think, I think Hawkeye, honestly. No, but, but uh, I want to hear everybody's difference so we can have an argument and a conversation about it here. No, but even that being said, you like, you, you, Joe Pesci arrows. can beat Thanos. Uh, those arrows, I'm telling you. I can beat Thanos. No. You know why? Because I can just get a pencil and erase him. But that's besides the point. And I'm coming and from no. my side. But that's how you lose. You just went that's too like abstract. You, like, you went too, too you, meta. Too meta. No. I have a tattoo on my left foot and my right foot. It says left and right. That's very really really abstract. Stanley would be Thanos. <laughs> I'm an abstract. Thanos would have lost. Domination. That's my definition. Motherfucker can control time. Dominate, dominate. You control time, you control any I have a action. lot of watches, but I can't control time. You control action. I paid for a lot of watches. I paid for my phone. I paid for my iWatch. But there's a definition between time and argument. Why is his... There is some crazy ass shit mm. talking about fucking Infinity Gems. Time and power and whatever else. Hot and like... Guys, Shannon, thank sorry. you for tuning in. It's been a crazy ass episode of Peach Basement. Listen, if you were watching this, mm-hmm. you've already subscribed to Peach Basement Extras. <laughs> so too. I'm already grateful. Get in the back here, guys. Just fucking get in the back here so we can all thank everybody. Bend the fuck down so everybody can be in the film. And oh, yeah, there we go. All right. Happy. Guys, they know listen. everything. They know everything. Uh, if you're not listening, you open up your I'm, ears. I'm, I'm, Thanks I'm, I'm, for I'm tuning in. Uh, Yo, I'm, I'm, hit I'm, us up. Uh, questions at peachbasement.com forward slash peachbasement. Instagram, Twitter, etc. at peachbasement. Yeah, please, please, please do that. Do follow that. us Let's on do that. the fucking... Follow the Peach Basement store. Just go on Peach Basement. Just represent.com forward slash peach... forward slash store forward slash peach basement. Or just go on peachbasement.com up on the top and hit shop and you'll link right to the store. Mm-hmm. And we've got and all sorts of awesome these. t-shirts. That was a great book. Give, and us, give us some doors. love. Give us some love. No. Send us some follow. comments. Send us questions. We no. all want to hear from you. We follow got we, Roger, look up. Roger, we want to get all of your in your uh indie published comics. To review, so send it to us at questions at Peach We love everything. Yeah. Everything. We love you guys. Thank you so Where's much for tuning in. Of and course, for New York, everybody, let's go. In. Yeah, the bottom line is this. We love what we do every day, all day. Like, Pete is like the grandmaster of everything. Nice. And like, he made like an avenue for us to be ourselves and embrace like the learn life that we love. And there's some, like, sometimes we're not right. Hey, you might bring something that we never thought about. This is true. So, you should always chime in, like, on Periscope, on Twitter, on Facebook. Email. Give us your argument. Yeah. Let us know why Give us your thesis it's so we can, like, say, oh, shit, we never thought about Maybe you that. can come here and speak your piece. Yeah. Uh, because hey, if you're above the, you. If you're in the New York he area, you. you're welcome in. He yeah. has the masses to fucking make it happen, to make it, like, a real thing, a, a trending thing. Like, right. I'm right. saying no, but no. Yeah. but like all all 
at the end of the day is this. P is the man. Thank you. Roger, you are the, you are the, you are the, you are the Alfred of all this stuff. It's Morgan Freeman. I told you that. If you're watching this, you're already subscribed to Pete's Basement Extras. <laughs> so so thank fault. you. Clearly. <laughs> and just in case you happen to be seeing this on some sort of weird Pete's Basement playlist, which Watch I don't understand. Basement. Because subscribe to Pete's Basement <laughs> Extra. Subscribe to Pete's there. Basement. Am I right? Am I right? Drop oh. a comment because God knows it helps us out so much. Yes, it does. Drop yes, a comment. Like the video. That's all we ask. Share the video if you really want to be friends. Love, and we appreciate that. We love you guys. Yes. And we will see you next week. And my ass crack will not be there. Well, his, Tom's right. ass crack will Thank not be so here. So show See now. you guys then. Show it now. No, show the ass crack. That's not. Oh, show God. the oh. ass crack. Oh. Come on. Oh. Outtakes. 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 No, there's going to be no outtakes. Next it time. is. Next time. If you want to show it, Next show time. it. Next this is, this no, is no, going no, up no, uncut. No, this is going Sorry, up uncut. I'm not doing it again. I'm not doing it again. Yeah. Rewind. Continental yeah. Divide happened. No. Well, be thankful he's not doing it again. Anyway, so if you, you want to see it, rewind. If for whatever Next fucking time. reason you want to see it, rewind. But don't rewind. Brother. No, seriously. Nah, for real. I love you so much. I'll be that drunk or be that so good. Hell yeah. Either way, this is good. Give me that. Well, what just happened? I have no fucking idea. Did we act? Are we done? Good Did we finish? Good cast. Good cast. Are we offline? Oh, we're finished. Thank you, God. Peach Basement is copyrighted 2018. Ripped Productions. All rights reserved. So go fuck yourself.